So Wade, how's it going? It's going good. <laughs> You're gonna intro or no? Are, am I doing the intro? Yes, or are you doing the intro. It's you. You do the editing, so you get the p- pleasure of doing the intro. Welcome back to another episode of the Real Duo Podcast, the most mediocre podcast on the internet. I'm one of your hosts, Wade. I'm another host, Devin. Wade's internet died. What have you been watching, Evan, or the last oh, couple weeks? He's back. Um, I watched half of a movie today that I had never seen before. What? Um, I watched Inside Out half of it. I've never, I've never seen that before. I saw Inside Out in film school because someone showed it to me. I did not like it. Interesting, because I was hanging out with a girl who showed a bunch of students Inside Out. Is there, is that their connection there? Holy um, maybe, shit! Maybe not. <laughs> That's spooky. It is spooky. Uh, it's, it's been pretty good. I liked it so far. I don't know how the end is, but the first I half like it. I like that pretty fucking good. pink elephant character. And oh, I don't uh, know if, Bebop or whatever. Sure. Is. Whatever is it, George, whatever his name is. I think his name is Bebop cool. or something. But he everybody was cool. else was like, I didn't really give a shit about. Um, and then I've been watching some Seinfeld and Daredevil still. That's uh, it's been my go-to. So, oh, I did. We did watch. I don't. I may have mentioned this last podcast. I don't remember when I watched it, but we watched the first Raimi film. So we got that. Oh, Spider Man one. Yeah. How um, how does that hold up to you still? In your no, mind? no, that movie is so dated. Like, do you enjoy it though? I enjoy William Defoe's whole thing in that, and I enjoy. That's about it, actually. I just enjoy William <laughs> Defoe. Uh, he's, like, he, yeah, he's he's really campy in it. Really rewatching cool. it, I was like, oh, the CG in this. Does it's not so bad. Up. It's so I bad. Know. It's decent when he's got like the mask on and he's like a full Spider-Man in it. But like, there's a point where he, Toby McGuire's jumping over buildings, and I'm like, oh, that looks yeah, rough. it's 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 not very good. That looks rough. Um, but other than that, it, it, like it's still it's one of those movies that's like I understand why it couldn't be super serious because back then superhero movies were kind of like silly and goofy like that. Sure, but I, it's not even the fact that it's like silly and campy because I don't mind that stuff. I like the you know campy Batman stuff and the campy Superman stuff. It's just not good. <laughs> that too that's the problem. There's not there's not a lot of good action and there's a lot of things that I pointed out in the movie because Dylan watched it with us and Dylan's like I can't believe they they missed that, um, like how they originally shot it with web shooters but they yeah. CG 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 those out I don't know why mm-hmm. they chose that direction I, I don't know it's very weird uh, yeah and there's like a there's a bunch of scenes where there's mistakes and people all over the internet have caught those so yeah but uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited to see how Spider Man Two holds up. I haven't seen it. Spider-Man 2, I watched, I think, what, last year? It's still a fun movie. It's not perfect, but it's still fun. It's I like definitely Spider-Man the too. best of the Raimi movies. That's it for is. sure. I, I so. still like Spider-Man 2. It's got some some fun to it. It's it's, it's still a little goofy, but it, it's fun. And then uh, we're actually seven episodes behind on Daredevil. Holy so, shit. Yeah, we've been busy. Well, Derek got sick, so he hasn't been able How? to How Derek seems to get sick often. Well, no, he doesn't. He had, he had COVID, and then now he has a, a cold or something. So. Yeah, he had COVID like not that long ago. Yeah, and then now he's sick again with something else. Jesus um, Christ. So, yeah, we've been behind on that. We are on episode three. We just watched the episode with the Warner in season two. So that's, that's where we're oh, at. Wow, that's pretty early on. I think it's episode three is when the I think so. Happens. Yeah, it's, it's pretty early. Derek's loving season two though, and I'm like, yes, season, season two is great. It is. I think everybody, season... everybody poops on season two, but it, and I understand that it's got its problems and it's there's a lot going on, but it's fun. I like it. I think season two is the best season, in my opinion. Season I two, don't know if it's the best. Two three one. Two three one. It's either two three one or three two one. One or the other. I don't know. I'd say three is probably the best. Three is really good. Three, I interchange with it though. Fucking rad. I interchange depending on if I want more Punisher, or if I want more Bullseye. Depends on the day. Sure. Depends on the day. That's fair. <laughs> what uh? What all have you been watching the past? Week? Uh, I rewatched uh, Tenet finally. Oh, did finally you sat down and understand it? it more or less? What? Uh... Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> I, I was still so like, the same. 
all right. The yeah. same as last time. I still really like that movie, though. I still think it's fun. I think it's a fun, like, spy action movie with sci-fi stuff in it. How does um, that... Okay, explain to me, though, compared to Dune, because you didn't understand Dune a lot either. What makes that movie better? Well, I mean, going back to, to Dune, I like Dune. I said in the video that I like Dune. Yeah. Um. The, it's just the... Because you can make a movie that I don't necessarily understand or get, but as long as there's, like, something in it that's entertaining it's like i'll i'll watch it like there's there's all kinds of artsy fartsy movies out there that i don't fucking understand because i'm a dumb moron but like <laughs> if it's entertaining and i like watching it i'll watch it fair and i also think how tenet is where it's like and in tenet i get like the gist of it there's a bad guy he's gonna blow up the world we gotta stop him it's just like the the science stuff that i don't fucking get i was gonna say tenet is also a little bit more relatable because it's on earth with humans and sure. stuff like that so. it's also not two and a half hours of boring talking Oh, it's two and a half hours of awesome epicness. Hell yeah. And I watched the behind the scenes of it. And a lot of it was pretty much just like, oh, I wonder how Nolan did that. Oh, he just did it. Okay. How did he do some of it? Like like the reverse fight scene specifically. I don't know how he did that. That one, they shot it twice. And then he he said they, they shot it twice. And like they reshot it twice. And then there's only like one or two shots in one of the versions of the fight that's actually reversed footage. Um, oh. Cause he, he said he didn't want to just do reverse footage. Cause you can kind of tell when that's done. He like a lot of it is actors moving backwards. Um, and in the fight, the first time it happened, um, they, they filmed it differently. So it's like John David Washington had to like learn this fight two ways and like do it differently both times. it was like this this seems like way too much fucking work for this fucking that's interesting movie. though i'm so did they talk about the plane a lot i'm guessing I'm, I'm uh guess. they actually there was a point where it was like oh because it's like broken up into sections mm -hmm. and they go into the special effects section and i was like I, I really want them to talk about how they did the airplane and then they brush over and i was like please do not tell me <laughs> they brush over this fucking airplane and then they have a whole section dedicated to it and i was like oh fuck yeah they if literally they just, better they literally just crashed yeah. a plane into a yeah. building I remember, um, I remember in the trailers they were talking about that. Like that was like their gimmick. Like, oh, we 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 literally did this. Like yeah. we did this for the come see our movie. We did this. Oh, cool. Yeah. We talked it, about it, like in the last the buildings exploding and stuff. They um they used a lot of miniatures for that, which is which is cool. You don't even notice it in the movie. Oh, that's neat. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I didn't notice. It didn't look off or anything. And and they they did during the uh, car chase scene. They did a lot of uh, like rear screen projection for for a lot of it. So like it was, it was it was fascinating. I like I like watching Nolan's behind the scenes stuff because he always he tries to keep it as practical as possible. Dude, that screen per that, that screen projection stuff is gonna like change CGI because I cannot tell when that stuff is used. I a mean, lot. It, it is. But what's funny is that that technology's been around since like the dawn of film, and I like we, we just rediscovered it and was like, oh shit, if we just do this, it looks real. It looks real. <laughs> Cause I know uh, when the Mandalorian did it, I thought I was like, "Man, do they shoot on location?" For Mandalorian this? looks like seamless. You you can't even tell. I can't. You can't tell. And I know Marvel's gonna start doing it. I think they did a little bit of it in Sh in Sung Chi. So I think uh, Thor four. I yeah, think they I think... said that movie's gonna use it. So yeah, it'll be interesting because that stuff looks seamless. I cannot tell. I can tell green screen a lot. Like okay, that's well yeah, because you can see the the fucking outline. Yeah, around the actors because because. You have to light green screen, especially if you're green screening outside. Usually it's not lit like outside. It's lit like they're in a fucking studio. And so you can tell. Insider knowledge over here. Wade Wade knows all. <laughs> See, that's why whenever I have a question about a movie, I just go ask Wade because he usually knows. I mean, it's it's stuff. obvious. There's stuff in Tremors, though. Wade doesn't still know. There's I know. Behind scenes for that. I'm sure there is one. I haven't checked the DVD. I don't know if there might be one on the Blu-ray. You have the fucking Blu-ray. Check it. See if there's one on there. Speaking of stuff like that, though, uh, just going into this, how do you feel about Disney Plus doing these IMAX stuff? That pisses me off <laughs> as someone who buys like physical stuff still. Because it's like, all right, so they're not going to reprint the, the Blu-rays and like, oh, here's an IMAX edition. But and it's like it, it really doesn't matter. It's It's such like a bullshit, like nerdy thing to care about the IMAX stuff. But it's like I I want to see a lot of these scenes. That's why I rebought uh, the the new 4K of Batman vs Superman. I bought that fucker twice because um, I <laughs> you wanted bought to thing see more than twice. 
No, but I'm talking like the new 4K version. Oh, the 4K. I, I bought the solo disc and then I bought the the trilogy. I was gonna set. say in total, I think you bought that movie like six, I bought that. Six, I bought Batman vs Superman more than I bought anything in my life. Yeah. Um, but like I, I wanted to see how you know certain scenes looked in the IMAX aspect ratio and how they were originally you know shot. And it just, I don't know, it just kind of bugs me that like, oh, well, yeah, you gotta fucking watch Disney Plus because I'm not gonna watch them on Disney Plus. So, is it is that their like gimmick to get people to watch it on Disney Plus? Probably. Like, oh, it's the IMAX version. It's only it's only some of them. Well, it's I, only yeah, like say, twelve of them, I think. Well, the first first couple, I don't even think it's shot in IMAX. Uh, Iron Man first was the first one. Yeah, but I don't think like maybe Avengers was, but I don't think like Thor one Avengers was shot in IMAX. Or I don't think it was. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was, but it's just I, that feels like a weird gimmick because a lot of like normal people don't fucking like understand aspect ratios and like well, yeah, a lot of people wouldn't even notice. Like, they don't. They yeah, they're not the even give a shit. So it's like they're just gonna go. Why is it cutting back and forth between? Why is it going full screen and like? And because I remember I uh, when, when uh, I watched Tenet with my mom, she she was asking questions about that, and I was like, I'm not gonna explain aspect ratios to you right now because you're, you're gonna be even more lost. Just understand, no one's a crazy person. That's yeah, just need. don't don't even worry about it. Does uh does Marvel cut back back and forth a lot with it? I don't know how they're at. I've never seen a They've, Marvel movie in IMAX. Um, I've never seen an IMAX. I'm sure they cut back and forth for uh, like all the action scenes, probably. Probably. I don't, I don't think they do the Nolan approach where it's like, hey, here's a scene of Michael Caine just eating dinner and it's in fucking IMAX. <laughs> like, I think I think they'd mostly just do it for the action scenes. I just think they shoot most of their movies on IMAX now because they get the money for it. They mm-hmm. probably do. So, anyways, uh, what else have you been watching this week? Uh, speaking of uh, IMAX shit, I also watched the um, Shang Chi behind the scenes. Uh, oh, assembled is that thing any good? On, uh, I haven't Disney watched Plus. any behind the scenes stuff for that since Wandavision. I didn't. Uh, watch I mean, anymore. it's. I I have a fundamental problem with those assembled things because they're all kind of the same. Uh, they're all just like, oh, hey, isn't it great that the uh, movie's in hey, the magical film? But I'm like, that's not, no, any director, who, s- anybody who's ever directed anything wants to fucking die while making anything. Like, directors are some of the most stressed out people. Ever. I want to see the behind the scenes for the bus fight specifically, because that bus fight. That, they, cool. they do touch on that. It was really, it, it was really interesting um, how they did that. And seeing Simu behind the scenes do a lot, like he did like a majority of that shit and it was fucking rad oh yeah um, i was gonna say he's fit but and he's also right. i mean i think he was a stunt person at one point for a couple of movies or something so i don't know but uh yeah but it was it was okay i mean it didn't really tell me a whole lot about the behind the scenes thing it was just like hey i've I, I see mulu and this is the character the origin of the character and blah blah blah, blah. i was like all right Maybe it'll be on the 4K or Blu-ray or whatever. I don't. It know. probably won't because they're going to buy <laughs> Disney Plus. But if it's not on Disney Plus, why why wouldn't they put it on the Blu-ray? What do you mean? Like uh, the the true behind the scenes. Like they're oh, not, they're not going to make two of those fuckers. They're going to put. <laughs> they're going to make the assembled stuff, and then uh, just put it on Disney Plus. I uh, I pre-ordered Sung Chi and Venom Two, unfortunately. Oh, um, you fucker. Yeah, it's for my collection, man. I, gotta I, f- I have a collection too, but I refuse to buy the Venom movies. Right? Your collection so, is you. huge. My collection is literally Star Wars and Marvel. That's it. That's all my collection is. Still, and, that doesn't mean you have to buy them. And the Zack Snyder trilogy. That's my whole collection. Uh, yeah, that's weird. How's that that's weird? weird that, that's weird that you have that because you only. Well, I mean, I guess you like just. I like two out of the three. I guess. I guess that's fair. So, yeah. What else? Speaking what of else? DC. Uh, Doom Patrol season three wrapped. Oh yeah, it finished. Season season finale any good? It, season finale was actually really good. Uh, okay. Season three did a lot of like, it went in a lot of different directions that I don't think not anyone your, was expecting. Not your typical DC show. Well, I mean, it hasn't been from the jump, but like, Doom Patrol is one of those shows where it's like, what are they doing? And then by the end of the season, <laughs> you're like, you're still asking that question, like, where are they going with this? Like, what? What's how, the, how are they gonna deal with this? Like, what, what's, like, what's the direction here? Towards the end of season three, they do something like really out there with Cyborg, where I was like, "How the fuck are they, like? How are they gonna continue on with Cyborg like doing this? Like, how are they gonna do that?" I have Murder. no fucking idea. We'll have to see, you know, next season. But <laughs> they're doing some really like they're getting fucking out there now. Like they they just don't care, and it's fun, and I I really like it. They murdered Cyborg. No, Spoiler. he's still in the show. Oh, damn. 
They're, they're not going to murder the only black guy in the show. They could. That'd be ballsy. They could. But they could. But they're not going to. I would. Not well, because I'm racist. You, no, that's that's why. Because you are. I'm not racist. You are. I haven't seen the hashtag recently. I'll put it up. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't. Bro, I'm bringing it back. This will be the video that blows up for some weird reason. And hashtag we'll cancel Devin. And I'll start, it'll be trending on Twitter. I'll be like, wait a minute. If I ever see that just trending on Twitter, I'm going to like call you immediately and be like, what did you do? Never what call happened? me on the phone because I'm, oh, I'm going to. Because I'm not driving to Texas. Send me a text. No, I'm calling your ass. Okay, I'm not going to pick up. Well, I'm calling you, then I'm texting you right after. I'm like, That's fine. I'll answer the text. <laughs> I'm not calling you, though. No, you got to call me. Yeah. No. You got to tell me what you did to make that trend. I I didn't do anything. You said some racist shit. And then I just put that out. It only seems racist because you edited it together that way. I don't do fucking, I don't edit this podcast all that much. I think you, you forcefully be like, cut a bunch of shit together, me talking, and then just says like, oh, I'm a racist. I don't do a goddamn thing. You just said, you just said, I didn't have to edit that. You just said that. Don't nobody clip that. Don't clip that. Someone's gonna clip it. I'm sure I could make you seem like a racist with editing. You can make anybody seem like a racist. I'll be racist as fuck on this podcast. I don't give a shit. Towards white people. I'll do it to I'll be racist towards anybody, all right? The amount of stuff I've said on this podcast that is offensive, like you really think I give a shit. Wade said so much racist stuff that he's just not racist because he's doing it to every race. (laughs) I do it to everyone. Everyone I'm (laughs) hey, I don't play favorites, all right. Uh, speaking of racism, what else have you been watching? Uh, that's pretty much it. We watched Eternals. Oh, we did watch Eternals. Is that going to be just a part of the podcast? We're we doing a separate video. For uh, we could, we might as well do it as a part of the podcast. All right, we MC well review talk, time. Talk about it. The MC review. Oh, you actually had a little thing for it. You know, that? Little pop up. We we just need pop ups for every section. Pop ups. I have I have pop ups for every section. Nice. You no, you don't. I know you don't. There's one do. you're missing. I know there's, there's one you're missing. One. You're fucking test me, motherfucker. All right. Well, we, we will when we get there. Right. <laughs> um, Eternals. I know me and Wade have uh, different opinions on this movie. Mm-hmm. It's very. It's a rare time on the podcast where we have different opinions on a movie. So Yeah, we usually, for the most... Yeah, I think uh, BVS is our biggest, like rivalry in terms of you movie. well i mean it when it comes to bvs one of us is right and one of us is wrong it's so. me who's correct but no you're the wrong one i'm but correct whatever. anyways um wade how did you feel about eternal um i am not crazy about this movie i didn't really like it all that much i don't think it's the worst MCU film. Everyone's keep saying, oh, this is the worst fucking thing. No, not a fucking On Rotten film. Tomatoes, it is. I don't give a damn what Rotten Tomatoes has to say. And I've never the... given a fuck about what any of these fucking places have to say. <laughs> I go into a movie and I form my own opinion. And my own opinion is, it's not very good. What is, uh, well, I like this movie. It's definitely not like my favorite MCU movie, but it's not like my worst MCU movie. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the middle, um, but I enjoyed it. It's uh, it's not very different from other Marvel movies. I know a lot of the it, marketing was around that. It it thinks it's different. Is it though? It, it looks not? a little bit different, like just how it's shot. It's like a tiny bit different plot wise. It's exactly the fucking same. Oh, yeah, there, it's plot and structure. It's the same. Visually, it has some visuals in it that are a little bit different. Not everything like. A lot of times when you watch a Marvel movie, it's like, oh, that's on a green screen. That's on a green screen. And this one, you can't really tell what's on a green screen sometimes. So it looks a little bit different, but it's pretty much a Marvel movie. Yeah. What do you think about the cast in this, though? I I mean, for the most part, I thought the acting was fine. I, I don't I don't blame the actors for it being like boring and like melodramatic. <laughs> I blame the writing. I don't think these actors with the script they were given... I don't I don't think like these were the best actors for the parts. They're they're all fine actors. I like Kumal uh Nanjani, I like Brian T. Henry, I like um Richard Madden, I like Jimmy Chan, I like I like all these people. They're all talented people, but I think the script held them back a lot. I don't think they were the right people for the part and for this type of dialogue. 
I liked everybody um, except for Icarus. He was kind of like my least favorite for some reason. I don't know why. He seemed like a Superman type, but he wasn't as cool as Superman. <laughs> well, yeah, like he's, a, he's very stoic and like closed yeah, off. Yeah. I, I think that was the, the point of it. I don't know. He was just like my least favorite out of that and uh, Druid just because Druid's an asshole. Druid, Druid was the best character. He was the most interesting. No, he, he, he was, was the one who seemed like the, the actor because I like that actor. I forget his name, but I've seen him and stuff. He seemed like he was the only one that like legitimately was like getting into the role a little bit. I was going to say I, I, I like disliked him, but I think that was the point is to yeah. not like him. So yeah, they shit did a good job. And I think they in the do. comics he's a villain. Uh, Kumal, he did not have enough screen time. Personally, I I thought he, I mean he didn't, and he kind of just disappears in the third act for no yeah. real reason. Yeah. Um, I also thought that like the humor was just not, it, it was it just did not land, and I was so disappointed because Kumal Kumal's a funny guy, but the writing just wasn't there. I didn't like his sidekick. He wasn't he wasn't my favorite. Um, no, his his sidekick was fucking annoying. He just had cameras just popping out. Just that that joke was so like I didn't get the joke. <laughs> and, and then it just kept going and i was like okay what like what is the punch what's the punchline to this joke there's I no punchline the, it just stops <laughs> i did like the bollywood reference that was nice i like Bollywood that. stuff was cool i like that um that stuff was fine it's a little weird that like they they say he's he would like pretended to be like multiple generations of <laughs> family members because they all have the same name like yeah. every single one of them and, and does like, like none no of his friends realize he doesn't age? Like no yeah, no, way. nobody's caught on to this. All right, all right. That's, that's a little weird, but I can I can forgive it. I wanted more um, Hayek though. We didn't get enough of her either. Yeah, she. Why even put her in the movie? This is kind of like a thing for later, but she is signed on for multiple movies, so I guess she's coming back. Oh, okay, time. so her death meant nothing then. But cool. also. Um, uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson was signed on for multiple movies and he's only been in one. So I mean, he could still come back at some point. We got a multiverse could. now. He could pop up again. He could, but he's a, he's technically Craven. So if they put him in the MCU, then, so anyways, um, yeah, she wasn't in it a whole lot. She's kind of just dead through. Yeah, she's literally like she shows up uh, in like the opening and then like f- 10 minutes later, she's dead. Yeah, and then and like, like, all right, they do a bunch of flashbacks to her, but that's a, cool. Uh, I, and I think that the the way the movie's structured is a big problem too, because like they don't they don't do a good job of establishing who these people are like up front in order for me to give a shit. And then there's one point where it's like one of the the very or the what are, what are the bad guys called the the deviants. deviants they pop up and they're like oh shit we we thought we killed all the deviants blah, blah. and I was like this was never like I don't care about what's going on because we were never who who is this what is what is going on yeah we I, didn't I, know that the deviants were all dead yeah we didn't know like, who these fucks are like we also didn't know that they couldn't heal because they're like oh that one healed that's crazy. yeah like they, they're just kind of throwing everything out. And then they explain it later, and like sometimes that can work, but in a movie like this that's two and a half fucking hours, <laughs> and you don't explain things until like the end, I kind of need to know, you know, like who these characters are, what all their powers are. I don't understand why there's twelve of them and they all have like one power. That seems yeah, they, a little odd. It's kind of like all blessed with like just one one thing. Like, yeah, and it's like it's spoilers, I guess. Uh, it's established that they're like robots. Yeah. Like they were created by the Celestials, but it doesn't make any sense why he would make 12 and then give each one of them one power. Why not make 15 Icaruses? Well, technically there's a lot more than 12. I don't know why they all have one power. I also don't know why one of them is a kid. I don't. Yeah. Like it just doesn't. And maybe that's just an inherent flaw with the story. But then it's like what I always say about adapting something just because something in a book works or they do it in a book doesn't mean you have to put it in the movie. I don't know if it makes any fucking sense either. Because I haven't read a single Eternals comic or or anything like that. But uh, I still, I think the story is fine to me. I don't mind the structure, how it's set up, personally. I understood what everything that was going on. Maybe not right at the moment it happened, but like when they explained it later, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. No, I mean, I got it. I understood. I wasn't like lost, but I was just like, when when they have that big chase with the with the deviant that comes out of the water, and it's supposed to be this exciting moment and whatever, like I just didn't care because I was like, I don't know any of these characters i don't i don't know what the fuck is going on at the moment like <laughs> i didn't know their power sets so i was like okay is yeah. one of these people stronger than the other i mean i was we learned it as we went on like yeah. oh 
she can transmutate anything into anything and then the other chick can phase into whatever can put duplicates of people and all that stuff so. but when you have 12 characters you're focusing on and each one of them has a distinct power that needs to be established before any action happens fair fair point so that we know what they can do we know their their limitations their abilities and we know how they work together we need to see that and have that established i'm not saying that it needs to be all like set up front but if like you're going to see Sprite and, and Zer, you know, Cersei and Icarus together in the scene. We need to set up what they can do a little bit first before we then jump into the action. And they kind of didn't. And I was like, okay, what are they, what are, who are these fucks? Like, what do they do? I also feel like the tech guy got the short end of the stick. Like, his power is just technology. Yeah, that's like, all right, what? He kind of uses it kind of cool at the end, but like, it's just... Sure. It's just, you know, he got the short end of the stick. But that's not really like a power. You just... I did like the speedster. I don't remember her name. The Mer deaf, Mercari, yeah, the deaf actress. Which um, I don't have a problem with with the deaf person being in a movie, but why would a celestial make a deaf robot? I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't Again, make any maybe, goddamn sense. Maybe there's just a flaw in designing, and that's why, like, oh, one of them's a kid, and one of them's. Explain that. Say that in the movie. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he made them, and they're like the fuck ups, and he just like threw them on Earth and was like, I don't want anything to do with them. Because like <laughs> that's and that maybe that's why they get emotionally attached to things, and maybe that's why. I, like you could you could work that into the into the plot a little bit because logically it doesn't make any fucking sense why he would make a kid who is sentient and leave him on Earth for thousands of years and then have them get attached and then get all pissed off when they get attached and don't <laughs> want to blow up Earth like that doesn't make any fucking sense. Speaking of that though, uh, how do you feel about Celestials and the second time in the MCU we've seen Celestials? Um, the Celestials Guardians? were were cool. I like the scale of them. I, yeah, I love that they're the cool fucking they massive. And they look cool as hell. They look terrifying. Surprised um, we didn't get a reference to Galactus. I'm a little surprised. But I, we don't need that. We don't need it yet. No. Build up to that. Yeah. We'll we'll see him at some point. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is the this isn't the same celestial from Guardians. He kind of looks similar to the guy who had the power stone. Um I don't know. But I don't he, think he looks one. similar, but I don't know. He I don't did know look because they didn't say who that one was. Yeah. Uh how did you feel about Jolie in this? Angelina Jolie. She was fine. She wasn't given a whole lot to do. Uh, she had that like weird Alzheimer's disease or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense in my brain. I'm like, oh yeah, they're thousands of years old. I guess your brain would crack eventually over uh, how many memories you can hold and stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't serve a plot purpose. It's it's there to manufacture fake drama with some of the characters. Like it doesn't. I was gonna say no. Back. It, it serves a like, plot save purpose. The day. As to yeah. they don't just wreck everything immediately and win the day. That's the plot purpose. <laughs> I mean, not really. Because they well, do. If, I mean, no, not immediately. It takes them a little bit. Sure. There's <laughs> fucking 12 of them. Like, they, they get the job done. Also, I don't know the actor's name or the character's name, but the guy who, the first Eternals that dies, the punching guy. Oh, he was Gilgamesh. Dope. Gilgamesh, I liked him. I, I liked him. He was fun, and I, I wish uh, we got to see that pie that he was making because that pie looks so fucking good. Oh, he dropped and it. And then it just yeah. splat on the ground, and I got really depressed because like that looks like a tasty-ass pie. Spoilers. The, the pie hits the ground. It does. That's what you should tell people when they watch Eternals. Spoilers. That, that fucking pie, pie man. <laughs> uh, is that all the Eternals? I think that's all of them. Um, I think so, yeah. There's one we're missing. They're not important. Um, how did you feel? Uh, I know this was a big thing. Matter. I know this was a big thing for the internet and countries outside the U.S. How did you feel about the gay, the gay scene? I don't care. I thought it was fine. I like that stuff. Doesn't bother me. It it does feel forced into the movie a little bit. It's done a little bit better than some other movies that try to do it because they don't really draw like that much attention to it. It's not like Brian T. Henry shows up and he's like, "Hey, everybody, I like penis." It just <laughs> it just happens like. Hey, all right, cool. He's got a husband and a, a kid or whatever. Yeah. It is a little bit. I don't like the way they like establish like why he cares about um staying on earth because it's with him it's it's very much telling and not showing. We don't see enough of him with his family to justify him being like, "Oh, I want to save Earth." It's just like, "Oh, hey, he's got a kid and a husband." That's it. And it's like if you're, like, gonna, if you're gonna introduce that family, if you're gonna establish he has a family, spend a little. I, I don't mean like spend four hours like him fixing his kid's bike and having a conversation, but just some kind of like 
want like a one minute scene of just them like making something in the kitchen and them just like having fun like doing like parent stuff like something like just show it and not tell us they they did a lot of telling and not showing but still you can kind of relate to it like okay he's got a kid he probably sure. cares about the kid like you can you can infer sure. that kind of thing I also it. i did like how they made him the creator of the atom bomb uh kind of or the nuclear yeah bomb. that's uh, that's kind of fucked up it is kind of it's kind of messed up yeah and that was a, that was an okay scene when when they like showed like what was it Nagasaki or whatever? Yeah, that was uh, it was all right. That was that, that was, was a well second, acted scene. The second bombing or whatever Hiroshima yeah. was first. So yeah, there's that. Um, the action in this though, how do you feel about the action? A lot of the action. But I, I've said before in like other comic book movies where it's like action at this point for me is just boys. Like it's <laughs> there's it's not Nothing exciting. Stood out to you. You have all these like super, and I understand that they could like some of them can die. I guess maybe all of them, but it's just like die. you have these like super powered like strong motherfuckers who have these like super like I, there's no real tension. Like I, I just don't care. It's all CG and like I just <laughs> that wasn't the interesting stuff in the movie. And I wish the movie like didn't feel the need to have that because I feel like if this was just more of a like psychological or like um um morality kind of uh discussion piece where in which they do talk about at multiple points in the movie where they're they're all kind of questioning their their morals and everything if it was just that i feel like i would have liked it a whole lot more but then it felt the need to be like oh it's it's it, people are falling asleep in the theater here's a here's a cg t-rex and they gotta go fight a thing like we don't need this uh also, why is the one deviant able to like mutate? I never understood that. That was like my that biggest thing. Really explain. I and know. it can I just guess, talk. I guess probably because he he absorbed uh, um, the energy from uh, an eternal. Maybe that has. But like, to do with how, can they all do that, or is this just the one that can do that? I don't know. That wasn't hmm. explained. Strange. Uh, they do kind of tie it into Endgame a little bit, like how they're like, "Oh, the Celestial wasn't going to be born because of the snap," and then when everybody came back. They had enough life energy to be born. I guess it's so fucking ridiculous to have celestial babies like be born in a planet. I don't know if that's how they are in the comics. <laughs> I think it Tra is. Transformers, one of the fucking Transformers movies did this, and everyone ripped it to shreds. Marvel does not get a pass. It's just as dumb. I'm, this movie is getting ripped to shreds. I don't know what you're talking about. By critics, at least. Critics. I, I know a lot of the fans are, are saying it's fine. But like this, it's just as dumb here. There's a giant celestial coming out of the earth. That's dumb. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's the most interesting thing. I think that is how they're born in the comics. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. It's um, dumb. I don't know if they've ever done one where it's like, oh, Earth has a celestial baby in it. Like, I, don't I don't know. Either way, it's dumb. Also, like, how does that fuck with the Earth's like core and shit? Like, I, I, I don't know. That brings up. A whole lot of fucking questions, <laughs> and is I guess that that stone statue of him is going to just be there forever. I guess where were the, where were the fucking Avengers when there when the was Earth. a giant? I usually I'm I'm one of those people who's like, oh well, it's not it's not an Avengers movie. Like, why would they show up? This is a fucking celestial coming out of the Earth. <laughs> this is an Avengers like thing. This is what they focus on. I mean, let's think where about let's think about the Avengers that might be on Earth. You got like Hulk, who's like, oh yeah. Well, I can't get there that quick. You got Falcon, who I don't know. He might be able to get there quick enough. And Bucky, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's not on Earth. She's off world. She can she can pop in for like a second and go, "Hey, what the fuck is well, this?" Well, how does she know anything's going on though? Nobody. She's. I'm sure all someone has to do is watch the news. I'm sure that came on the news in space. So somebody space somebody news? caught something. No, it came on the news. All they have the little pagers. They have a way to communicate to her. They, hey, Captain Marvel, there's some fucking thing coming out of the ocean. Thor's Come down and check world. it out. So, Thor's off world at the moment, yeah. There's still Avengers on the Earth that can go check there's it out. There's not a lot out. of powerful ones, though, is what I'm getting at. Like, none matter. of them can just make a difference. Go check it out. See what it is. If, if Falcon would have showed up in this, that would have been kind of dope if he just showed up. He was going to be in an end credit scene, I heard. But yeah, they I, heard out. I heard about that, yeah. So... I don't know what he would have done. Just mm. probably just showed him. Hey, I'm getting into the movie. Uh, how'd you feel about uh, Harry Styles? In this? I, I Every, everybody was freaking out that Harry Styles was. In this. I don't give a shit. 
I heard um, some girls that were at the theater whenever I went, and they were like, do we have to watch every Marvel movie? Because Harry Styles is in this? Probably, like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, sure, you can you can watch sure. it. I, I don't know. That's supposed to be Thanos' brother or some shit. I don't yeah, know. Eros I don't or whatever. It would have been that would have been cool if they established that Thanos had a brother like four movies ago. Did they need to establish he had a brother? Like I mean, it could flesh out his character a little bit more that he's got family because wasn't his whole thing that like his whole race and everybody got wiped out and that's why he's doing what he's doing. The he's got a brother around. I mean, I'm sure there's some more off world somewhere, but like his home planet got destroyed. He's not in contact with his brother. Maybe he doesn't like his brother. His brother is kind of like the perfect one because Thanos is deformed. That's remember. I, that's a fair point. <laughs> so maybe he doesn't like him. That's that is fair, I guess. Thanos looks like Grimace, and then his brother looks like Harry Styles. Yeah, Thanos is a deformed Titan. Like all the other Titans look normal, and he's like a I freaky, a freak. He's a freaky. I don't know. Um, it just would have been nice to like I don't know, touch on that or have, see them together in a thing. I don't know. Well, I heard Josh Brolin might come back for a prequel thing, so they oh, might show cool. that to you. All right. So there's that. Um, and then what about um, Kit Harrington's Black Knight character? Uh, I mean, he wasn't, he didn't need to be in this movie. I understand it's like setting up for future stuff, but it's like he didn't do anything in the movie. So it's like he didn't need to be in the fucking movie. You could have put him in no. something else. They mainly used him for in credit bait. Yeah. So. That was the whole, the, whole, the whole reason he's in the fucking movie. I was just I was sitting in the theater and Dylan was like, "Oh, what's the what's the after credits gonna be?" I'm like, "Probably gonna be Black Knight, something related to Black, it's Black Knight." Knight. Apparently, that that voice in that after credit uh, scene is is confirmed to be Blade. Oh, is it? I didn't know who that was. I was that's like, that's Mahershala oh. Ali. Oh, interesting. Why? So I guess I guess they're gonna team up at some point. Why does he know? How does he know to be there? <laughs> <sighs> Fuck knows. I don't know. Because I know um, in the comic they're in like a team aren't they yeah they're in the midnight suns i think I mean, yeah that midnight suns so i don't know how he knows that he's black knight though or is like his grandfather or whatever was black knight i don't yeah. fucking know they'll have some weird thing where it's like oh i used to i fought with your uncle or some shit i fought with your uncle in the middle ages like how yeah how sure. my uncle I mean, blade so blade is a vampire so i mean he could be around for a long time that's true that's true i'm interested to see how they take blade I'm, I'm yeah it's gonna be interesting interested um but yeah eternals though i liked it personally that's fair i've seen a lot of people on the internet saying like hey it's not that bad and i'm not I'm, it's not one of those movies that like i'm gonna like i'm angry that it's bad i just like it's bad and i just don't really care has there been an mcu movie that you're angry that it's bad thor 2 uh thor ragnarok thor ragnarok yeah thor, thor, ragnarok, is... thor ragnarok is dog shit no it is not it is dog shit is this worse than thor 2 though Eternals. No, no. Is it close not, to being worse? Right. Fucking long shot. No. <laughs> it's it's definitely in that area. It's definitely one of the bad ones, but it's not as bad as Thor 2. I'd, I'd watch Eternals over Thor 2 in a day because at least this movie has some interesting ideas and interesting concepts to it. I I think it doesn't go full on with them, and I think that's, that's part of the problem also is that it's just kind of half-assedly done, but at least it's trying to do something a little bit they, more than just oh I'm throwing I got a big dumb hammer. They have said they're most likely doing a sequel. Are you interested in a sequel at all? I mean, not really. Like at, at the moment, no. If I see a trailer and it looks cool, maybe. But like at the moment, it's just like no. Why? Why do we need a sequel? Well, it's they kind of set up kind of not a cliffhanger, but like oh they're the celestials are after them, you know, like they fucked up type thing. That ending pissed me off because that's not an ending to a movie. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> like it just stops. There's no ending. Like the story, the story that they were doing to save the Earth, they wrapped up. Okay, then end the movie. Have have that scene with the with the big god celestial face just coming up in, into the sky. Have that be an after credit scene. True. I mean, I guess they could have. They could have made that the beginning of the next movie, also. <laughs> or do that. Yeah. Because because by the time we get a, a, a sequel to Eternals, it's gonna be like four years from now. Probably. We We're got not going to remember shit. what the fuck happened. We got a lot of shit coming out. And what do you do? And... What do you do in Eternals 2? The world was going to end. I think it's be more of a space thing. That's what I've heard. I guess. About them going to free other Eternals and stuff like that. Maybe. I don't know. But as of right now, you're no interest in Eternals Not really. Not, not really. Fair enough. 
Is Icarus going to come back? He flew into the sun. That, that fuck is dead. <laughs> Technically, that was, a, that that was could, a very on the nose thing that I did yeah. not appreciate. I was like, "All right, we get it." Icarus flew too close to the sun. Not only did they say it like five times in the movie, they fucking showed it, and I was like, "All right." Technically, they could all come back because they're just robots. Oh, yeah, they like could. rebuild. And oh, here's here's another one. And he has all their memories. The celestial does. I mean, yeah, but I, just, I mean, I just don't care about Icarus. Like, if, if he comes back, cool. But like, I don't really give a shit. I was gonna say half of them are like dead. Sprite's not an eternal anymore. Icarus is dead. Gilgamesh is dead. Yeah. Hayek is dead. I think that's good though. Have less characters. We so don't yeah, need maybe, twelve maybe, eternals. So. Maybe another one would be better because there's less characters. It's possible. Make it less like a Marvel movie, and, and it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Wade needs to just be Kevin Feige's consult. That's what he needs. No, Kevin Feige does not want me to work with him at all because <laughs> I will do nothing but bicker with him. Do I look that stupid? Don't do that. We will get nothing done. So you want to do an Agatha show? Yeah, let's not. Let's not yeah, how about that. we uh, just don't? Because <laughs> nobody wants that fucking show. No, we'll get into that a little, little bit. We will. Uh, is that everything about Eternals? Or you want to, anything else you want to speak on? That's it. By the way, I, I wanted to mention this. Uh, I was not impressed with the score. I thought the score would be way better. I wasn't impressed. With yeah, that. the score wasn't all that great either. I thought it was going to be really good based off the trailers because the trailer had a decent score, and I was like, oh, maybe. Yeah. But no, it wasn't. No. I just find it funny that the two things I was the most hyped for in Phase 4 were the two things that I just didn't like at all. What were the two What if in Eternals? What if? Oh, yeah. Everything else have been like, hey, cool. Yeah, it, I was going to say, yeah, Shang-Chi's fun. been good. Shang-Chi had no right being as good as it was. Oh, yeah. Shang-Chi is awesome. What the fuck happened with Eternals? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got Spider Man to look forward to though, and Hawkeye. If you're watching Hawkeye, but... I'm not watching Hawkeye. I don't give a fuck. You don't want to see? Uh, you don't want to see all the spoilers, Kingpin? He's not gonna make me watch that fucking show. I'll watch his scenes on YouTube. I mean, he's in like half the show, so you couldn't might as well. I'm not watching half of the show. Just what would make him. you watch it? If everybody's just like, oh, it's really good, would you watch it? Everyone's gonna do that. They do that with all with every Marvel thing that comes out. Oh, it's the best goddamn thing ever. So there's nothing that can get you to watch it. Even I mean, people are if, saying it. if I if there's maybe like something like if if I hear that like oh hey there was a really like dope fucking action scene that that was like a one shot thing like well I might check it out like there's just nothing in it that's like drawing me to the show. I like Jeremy Renner. I like Hawkeye. I like Jeremy Renner. Fuck Hawkeye. He's a dumb character. <laughs> and I like Haley Steinfeld, but she's not gonna make me watch the show either. Fair enough. I ain't gonna make you to watch it. I was just wondering if there was anything to make you that would. It's possible. So, anyways, uh, we moving on to the movie news. M -m -m movie news. I kind of threw a lot of the Disney stuff in my movie news. I don't know if we're gonna do a different section for that or not, but uh, I threw a lot of the Disney Plus stuff in there too. Cool. All right. The separate, outside of the Marvel stuff. <laughs> yeah, outside of the Marvel stuff. Uh, you can start with whatever news you got. Uh, apparently, there's a new animated Garfield movie coming out. Uh, can you guess who's going to be voicing uh, Garfield? Bill Murray. No, yeah. not again. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, who? I don't know. Mr. Chris Pratt. Ooh, he's Mario and Garfield. <laughs> yeah, why and... is Chris Pratt getting all this voice work? I don't know. He was he was in Onward, too. Is he just a good voice actor, maybe? I don't know. I guess. I mean, in Onward, he's kind of just doing his voice. I hope he doesn't do that. Like with Garfield and Mario, I hope it's not just "Hey, I'm Chris Pratt." Like I hope he fucking puts on a voice. Yeah, I, I, specifically for uh, Mario, Garfield, he could maybe get away with doing his own voice, but Mario, I don't think he could. I don't know, he, because I don't just want to Mario. Hey, I'm Chris Pratt. But, but, but uh, like why can't Bill Murray come back? What's wrong with that? Bill Murray could. I don't think he wants to because he didn't like why? doing the other two. Why not? You sit in a booth and you get paid. He hated fucking Garfield. <laughs> if I had a steady voice work like uh like Bradley Bradley Cooper or something, I would do that forever. Oh dude, I would eat that shit up. I wouldn't do a it. goddamn thing for the rest of my career because that Marvel money, I'm sure he's getting paid. He's getting paid more money than we'll ever see in our lives just to voice a fucking raccoon. Probably. Probably I'd and take that money and run. He doesn't have to do anything besides just sit in a booth. So yeah. 
Anyways, uh, so what? Wait, did you say this movie is this a live action Garfield thing or animated? animated. Oh, better than live action, I would say. Um, it's yeah, kind of weird doing the CG. I was gonna say it's kind of weird doing CG animals. It still hasn't like been done well, in my opinion, because mm. uh, they did CG for the uh, what was that? Call the Wild or whatever for that Harrison Ford movie. Oh yeah, uh, that was I not mean, a good. It CG can be movie. done well if all of the other animals in the movie were also fucking CG. But the problem with the first Garfield movie is that, like, what the hell is Garfield? Because <laughs> yeah, all the other the animals dog. are exactly the Like, they're, they're animals. Yeah. Garfield's like a sentient cat that, that doesn't look like a cat. Like, what the fuck is it? I guess they didn't want to get, like, a fat cat to try to... I don't know. Okay, make the dog look like a fucking cartoon. That's true. You could have just CGI'd all of them. Maybe yeah, they didn't have the budget like for that. I guess not. Then don't make the fucking movie. Also, it probably was harder because you had to film animals. I'm sure that was harder to do than Garfield's CGI. a fake. Is no, fake the other animal? the other animals, like the dog and oh, the, probably yeah. Yeah, so I'm sure that was painful to film. I was probably a pain in the ass. <laughs> but uh, good on Chris Pratt getting all this work. Good for him. Go for it. I mean, hey, I know everybody hates Chris Pratt at the moment, but. He did, didn't he? He said something, didn't he? I don't even remember. He what he, he said. posted he posted a photo of him with his new girlfriend, and he said something like in the post that everyone thinks is like mocking his ex wife or something. Okay. I, I don't know. I th- I think people are kind of reaching a little bit too much with that. People are putting words right. in his mouth that he didn't say. Huh? I guess I don't know. I mean, he said it, but I think people are just taking. They're they're trying to find a, a reason to hate Chris Pratt for some reason. He's he's too perfect. Somebody find a reason to hate him. I guess. <laughs> uh, what other uh, movie news we got? Uh, speaking of Garfield, uh, Matt Damon and Robert Denny Jr. have been cast in Christopher Nolan's next film, Oppenheimer. Uh, I think I saw this on your Snapchat. Uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s the death of box office movies. I... That's not Marvel. Uh... Yeah, I mean, look at every movie he's he's made since Iron Man that isn't Iron Man. They haven't this done is, well. This is Nolan, though. I have faith Nolan can still. Pull Nolan, out a good Nolan movie. is the only reason this movie will probably do well. But plus, it's Matt, not. Plus, Matt Damon, like, come on, Matt Damon's pretty good. I mean, yeah, most of his movie. Matt Damon. It's gonna be, be a, a thing. It's gonna be interesting uh, bouncing off each other. I don't know. Have they ever been in a movie together? Not Matt Damon and RDJ. Yeah. yeah. Not to my knowledge. I don't probably think so. Someone. Probably some obscure indie movie they may have been in. They've been in the same <laughs> series because Matt Damon is in the MCU, but I don't think they've ever. Yeah, but they never anything. like interacted with each other. I don't think so. Mm, interesting, interesting. That that'd be an interesting duo for sure. It would be. I think. How would you? I guess Matt Damon be the serious guy, and RDJ being the goofy, or oh uh, well, see, but see, that's the thing though. RDJ pre Iron Man was kind of a serious actor. Like he so did yeah, do some of the quippy him... stuff. So, like, maybe just kind of transition him towards that some more. Because I don't think Christopher Nolan's going to make a comedic movie. I think no. everyone, for the most part, is going to be kind of dead serious in it. But I was going to say, they can both play a more silly role. Because Matt Damon in The Martian was serious and silly at the same time. But yeah, Matt Damon can be funny. The Martian is still one of the best space movies ever made. Just let me Martian's great. There. Martian is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. We saw that in the theater together. We did. <laughs> what other um, what other movie news we got? Specifically, do we have any more Matt Damon news? Because I want more Matt Damon in movies. Uh, you've seen the movie Enchanted, though, right? I have. I have this on my news also. <laughs> getting a fucking sequel next year. Yeah. Dischanted. Disenchanted. Disenchanted. Yeah. Uh, this is this was on my Disney stuff because it's technically Disney and they released it on Disney Plus Day. Um, I don't I don't care about Enchanted enough to care about this sequel, honestly. Uh, what do you? I think? mean, Enchanted is a good movie. I think it's it's way too late to make a fucking sequel to it. Enchanted oh, came out like fifteen years ago. Yeah, it's way way past its uh, sequel. Yeah, sequel baby. Nobody knows what the fuck Enchanted is anymore, especially like little kids. Like little kids don't care about. It. Yeah. Like Enchanted is a fun movie. It's kind of a parody of the Disney princess stuff, but it's just like, all right, you made a movie. I don't. We don't really need a sequel. Like, what else are you gonna do with that premise? <laughs> uh, you could 
She's already in the real world. Is she going to go back to the fucking cartoon place? Well, I think this is about a villain, isn't it? Kind of like they did with Maleficent or whatever. Like, is it? I don't care. Stop doing that. I don't give a fuck about that. Nobody cares about that shit. I don't don't know for sure, but I think that's what it's about. That's if that's what it's about. Fuck this movie. I ain't seeing it. (laughs) Is the rest of your news Disney news? Because I got one piece of news that isn't Disney. Uh, I have one piece of news that isn't Disney news. Also, all right, we'll do those, and then we'll get into the Disney stuff. Uh, Uh, There was a new poster for the uh, Predator prequel. Oh, this was my piece of news too. And it's a pretty dope looking poster. And the name of it—the name of it is genius. I love the name of this fucking movie. It's just called Prey. Fucking A. Let's fucking go. The poster does look dope. Uh, It takes place 300 years ago. In like Fuck man, Native American. This country. movie sounds awesome. This is what you've been saying about uh, the Predator movies. Like, let's change yeah. it up. Let's put just it in a different the, setting. Yeah, just take the Predator, put them in different time periods. Why are we all yeah. just in like modern day with guns? I want to see a fucking Mesozoic person stab a Predator with a spear. <laughs> I want to see the Egyptians while they're building the pyramids stab a Predator. Yeah. Fucking hell. I'm all about this though. Like, I just hell yeah, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm I, the moment I saw the title, I'm like, I'm this fucking movie. I don't even give a shit what it's about. Pray, it's a genius fucking title. <laughs> oh, that is. It's really good. It's really good. Even though that's technically what the sequel to Predator should have been called, but whatever. Predator Prey. Technically, it's Prey Predator because this is a prequel. So yeah. yeah. But we'll see. It's, we'll it's, see. It's, it's still cool. Hopefully, Johnny Depp isn't a Native American in this. <laughs> is that a fucking Lone Ranger reference? It is. I, it hope, is. I, was, I hope he's a Native American in this. Right? I was wondering if Paco. you were gonna. I wondered if you were gonna understand that reference. Yeah, of course I understand the reference. That's such an odd decision. I don't know why they fucking did that. That was Disney. Either. Disney fucking did that. Disney. So they, <laughs> Disney technically owns Predator. Yeah. So they movie. could. Hey, they could have a Lone Ranger Predator crossover. They could. That'd be strange, but they could do like it. a racist ass Tonto. Disney owns everything now, though. So it's like, what? What Pretty don't much. I own at this point? They don't own DC yet. Yet, we'll see if that hits the hit the pooper after the Batman. Because that's anything any that's the only thing anybody cares about is the Batman. Yeah, I have some news on the Batman later that might piss Fuck. you off. I'm excited to tell it. you about. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get into some of the Disney news from Disney Posh Day yesterday. Yeah. Um, you want me to start or you you start? You you, you um, you've seen uh, Zootopia, right? I have seen Zootopia. I did not like Zootopia. Well, get ready to hold your pants up for this one. Uh, we're getting Zootopia Plus. What the fuck does that saying mean? I don't know. I just made it up right here and now. Anyways, um... <laughs> We're getting Zootopia Plus. Not it's not a whole streaming thing for Zootopia. If that's what you were wondering, it is. <laughs> that would be dope. <laughs> it is uh, a, a series on Disney Plus. Zootopia Plus. I don't know why it's what, called. Like, what Zootopia is it about? Uh, it's about Officer Hops. Again, we see more of that. Fuck. We got a whole movie. Yeah. More about Officer Hops and the. Fox I don't give dude. a flying fuck about any of these characters. <laughs> You don't. You didn't like Zootopia. Zootopia wasn't. No, Zootopia like, was dumb. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't remember it a whole lot, but it's not I the worst thing I've ever seen. But it's bad. I do remember there was one funny scene where they were like, "Oh, how are we gonna get around the wolves?" And then they just start howling, and then all the wolves start howling, and they just run past them. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I don't remember that. I do remember that. I remember. That. Anyways, um, continuing. We got another series that you may not like. Uh, we're getting a Cars. It's called Cars on the Road. It's, it's a series on Disney Plus. I don't think they're bringing okay. back what's his name, Owen Wilson, but they might. It is they a, usually with with these Pixar things. They usually get the whole cast back. Like when they do those shorts for Toy Story, like they get everyone back to do those. Yeah, but like it's been mind. a while. Owen Wilson's not expensive. I don't know. He's he's in Marvel now, so he might be. He might have upped his. Uh... Hey, I, they probably got that fucker in Loki and made him sign a little other thing to be like, "Hey, you're gonna be in this Cars fucking show." But it is about Lightning McQueen and Tow Mater again. So 
Jesus Christ. We've had three movies about them. And all the fuck of them else are they going to do with these goddamn characters? I don't know. They have, they have, uh, they had a whole spinoff shorts about Toe Mater, didn't they? Yeah. Well, the second movie is like Mater, all about Mater's Mater. Tall Tales. Second movie, Mater became a super spy. Yeah. <laughs> Those movies went off the rails. In like Tokyo movie. or some shit. Yeah. And then on the third one, they were like, right, let's go back to racing. It's like, ah, well, you. Sure. But like, you have a whole universe of cars. You're making or a fucking planes, train about any or other trains, car. or automobiles. Yeah. <laughs> did you like my? Did you like that reference there, Jimmy? I did like your reference. Yeah. Have you seen that fucking movie? I'm not, but I know Fucker. it's that's a, a good movie. Yeah, I know it's a it's a crazy movie. No, plane it, trains. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Good holiday yeah. movie. You're not pissed about a Cars uh, series? Though? I, I, I don't gonna... care enough about it. I'm not gonna watch it. So I know you're you're dying to see more Cars. Not really. <laughs> what, about, uh, what about I like the first I like the first Cars movie the other ones I don't really give a shit about uh, I don't remember two and three that uh, that much I remember the I remember first seeing two movie. and then just like blocking into my head immediately after watching it I remember the trailer for three because it was very serious the, the trailer for three made it look like Mad Max yeah and I was like oh my like, god what are they doing this? to cars um, what I about Hocus two, Pocus 2 Wade how do you feel about Hocus Pocus really? 2 yes we're getting a Hocus Pocus 2 I don't give a shit I know Hocus Pocus is like a, a cult classic thing, and I've seen Hocus Pocus. Doug Jones is in Hocus Pocus. Um, Doug, Doug Jones like, isn't expensive. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. But, like, who's craving for a fucking Hocus Pocus 2? When did the first one come out? Like, like the 90s. I was going to say, I thought it was like 2001, but it was like maybe the late it's 90s. the 90s. 30 yeah, years um, later, we're going to have all these old witches running around. I guarantee <laughs> you they're all going to have, like, daughters or some shit, and then they're going to be the next generation, because that's all you could do now with sequels. They did release a photo. Um, it looked like a bunch of old women, so I think they're bringing back some, some of the cast. So. They're probably, yeah, they're probably bringing back all of them. Well, they're witches. You don't, they don't need yes. to be a certain age. Um, oh, yeah, but they're old in real life, so they're just going to be old true. in the movie. True. Um, this, my next piece, might be the only thing that they acquired from Fox that they're continuing. Um, how'd you, how do you feel about the Ice Age movies? I mean, I saw the first like two or three of them. And I just, <laughs> Do you like them? Do you want I like another the first one? one? The first one was all right. Do you want another one? No, there's like eight of those movies, <laughs> isn't there? <laughs> well, too bad, Wade. We're getting another movie. God damn it! It's called Ice Age: The Adventures of Buck Wild. Is uh that um Harry Elephant in it? No, it's about Buck Wild. Well, I don't know. Who the fuck is that? Know. The the little the little rat dude in the dinosaur. His name one. is. His name is uh, Scrat. No, not the not that rat dude. The other rat dude. I don't know. The what eye the patch. Fuck you're talking about. He's got an eye patch. Are you talking about the monkey pirate? No, no, no. He's voiced by Simon Pegg. I, you say that as if I know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> he was in the the dinosaur one. I don't fucking remember that movie. Wh- which one was that? Dawn of the Dinosaur. <laughs> but like, which the number third. was that? That was the third one. Third, maybe third, maybe the fourth. So a movie that came out ten years ago. Yeah, they're making character a character and it's getting a spinoff. Cool. Yeah, they're getting a spinoff. Simon Pegg is movie, returning. Tanks. What's wrong with Ice Age? You got, I ain't got nothing wrong with Ice Age. Just stop making it. Make a new thing. Make a new thing with Simon Pegg. It is a new thing. No, it's not. It's an Ice Age sequel. Make a thing that isn't an Ice Age <laughs> But sequel. if it's about Buck Wild, it's not about the mammoth. But th- it's about a character that was already in another movie. That's true. So you it's are correct. It's still it's still new, Wayne. It's still new. I'd make an original thing. <laughs> anyways, anyways, uh, what else you got? I got some more stuff. But I feel like I've been taking taking the spotlight here. What else? Uh, you got? There's a new Pinocchio movie starring Tom Hanks, and it's going to be directed by Robert Zemeckis. And it is, I think, live action based on what I've heard. So. I think so, yeah. Which is weird because there have been live action Pinocchio movies before, and they've all been horrifying. Well, they're all on that big trend, you know. Of, uh, let's make our classics into live action: Dumbo, Lion King, sure. Beauty the Beast, all that stuff. I guess. Do kids give a fuck about Pinocchio? Uh, and I'm not sure a lot of kids know who Pinocchio is. If I'm being honest, 
it's kind of like how I heard the other day um, a little kid didn't know what a DVD was. And I was like, what the fuck? Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I did. I heard they were like, somebody was talking about a DVD and the kid was like, what's a DVD? It's like what you watch movies on. And they were like, oh, like, like so on my iPad. <laughs> well, I think they said, I think they said like Netflix or like Disney plus or something. I don't remember which one oh they God. said, but that's so fucking that. Oh dude, that just fucked my whole mindset up. Cause we, it's so, what's interesting is that we grew up with VHSs. Like we, we had VHSs too. Yeah. Yeah. And then we got DVDs and then Blu-rays and stuff. There's going to be a whole generation of kids who haven't had any of those fucking things. Oh, yeah. he If he doesn't know what a DVD is, I, I can't imagine he knows what a VHS is. Hey, kid, you know what a Betamax is? Well, I know, I know, uh, like, somebody who was Derek's age, it wasn't Derek, but it was somebody who was Derek's age didn't know what a CD was, like how we used to have CDs for music. I'm like, nobody's had a CD in probably... Those ten, are just dumb fucking kids, all right? Because, like, I knew what records were when I was, like, 10. <laughs> like, I had never used one, but, like, I knew what it was. Like, these are just dumb fucking kids. Maybe, maybe. I could see somebody not knowing a CD existed because, like, nobody's used a CD in a long They're time. They're not on the internet? They're not watching people th that s talk about CDs or anything? Like, Probably no not. one in their life has said Like, people CD. still use records, though. Like, people, But nobody people uses a CD. use CDs. No, I've never seen somebody use a CD in like people still buy CDs. Years. They wouldn't make them if people didn't buy them. Do they still make them? I don't know if they did. Yeah, they still make CDs. I thought they just sold it on iTunes. I didn't know. Not as not as frequently as they used to, but yeah, they still have CDs. I'm sure there's collectors out there. Like, I need my Taylor Swift new song. Yeah, put it in put in my collection. All those or people whatever. like me who are like fuck digital. <laughs> hey, one day. DVDs will not exist anymore, Wade. They will That's not fine. Then I'll just stop watching movies forever. Wade's like, I'm retiring. I'm retiring. Well, well at that point, movie. I'll have an entire fucking collection. I'll have like a million movies in my collection. And <laughs> what does that happen? That could happen next year. Okay. There's still a billion movies on DVD that I can buy and just watch those True. forever. True. Wade's going to be like, I'm only going to the theater, and that's it. The, yeah, that's it. But then the theaters will be shut down because everything will just be streaming. Fuck, and fuck, fuck all that shit. I'm done. <sighs> anyway, let's get back into the Disney news. We went in a little dark there. Wade got a little depressed when I talked about I that. I did. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, there's an animated Diary of a Wimpy Kid film. Yeah, and apparently I heard it was a sequel. Did they make an animated film? No, they're they're making a sequel to this animated movie also oh, gotcha. coming out next year. Gotcha. Um, the Roger Gruels thing. They're just doing it again as if I was gonna the, say because the live, live action, action never happened. The live action did really well. I remember people loved those movies. Yeah, I've I've never seen a single one of those fucking movies. I've seen the first two. Uh, that may have been the did only two they made. They may have made a third one. I don't know. Any good? Uh, no, they I made mean, they no. made three with the original cast, and then they did like a weird reboot a couple years ago. No, they weren't good. No, don't watch them. I'm, I'm not gonna. That's all I can say. Don't I may watch this um, animated one. The uh, what's the fat kid's name? Chucky Chubby. Isn't it like Hefty or something? Hefty, Hefty Wet. I don't know. Anyway, he's kind of Hefty Wet. <laughs> That's not a name. He's he's, he's kind of wet. He's kind of funny. He's the only like redeemable thing because they just make fun of how he's fat the whole time. And I'm just like, can you do that nowadays? No, that shit would not fly nowadays. You can't body shame a child. Man, that was only like 10 years ago. Man, the world was that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> the world has changed. And that was Disney. I don't can they put that on Disney? Was Plus? it Disney? I, uh, I think so. Or is this a Fox thing? It might have been a it might have been a Fox thing. I don't think I Disney thought it was maybe Disney, but it may have been a Fox thing. I don't know. Uh anyways. Um what about uh did you like the Proud family growing up, Wayne? I fucking love the shit out of the proud family growing up i even remember when the proud family movie was premiering and i watched the fuck out of that movie proud family was fucking dope as a little black boy watching an animated black family on tv well we're getting a new series fuck that <laughs> it's called the proud family louder and prouder so it's we don't need this <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna watch this fucking thing it's not for you. It's for kids, Wade. No, it's clearly for me because it's clearly a sequel. 
Fair, fair point. It's like this, they're, they're writing off of people who grew up with the show. If it, it's like if, if it they made a, a, if it was a new thing, if they were doing it for a new generation, they would have just called it the Proud Family. It's like they make Recess and they're like it's something else. I don't know. So recess again. again. <laughs> more, more recess. More, more recess. I remember Recess. That was a good show. Recess was awesome. Uh, was I remember. So cool. I don't remember watching the Proud Family a lot. I do remember watching it, and I liked the episodes that I watched. Well, because you were a racist, and you're like, I ain't watching I a Black Family. Not a racist. I just didn't watch a lot of it for some reason. But I did like what I watched. So there's that. I remember. I remember it being fun. Louder and prouder, the way they're louder and prouder. I'm sure this show is going to be full of Black Lives Matter references and just all this woke fucking bullshit. <laughs> The, the what was genius about the proud family originally was that it was never fucking addressed that they were black i'm sure there might have been an episode where it's like hey we're black but the whole show was just hey it's a family doing family stuff yeah, and they just happen to be black god damn it <laughs> well if that pissed you off wait for this um i think you may have heard about this already what? have you heard of sneakerella Yes, I saw this sounds so terrible. I read the premise for this. This sounds awful. It's a gender who, who came up with this fucking idea. I want to meet this person. I don't know, but it's a gender flipped version of Cinderella. What does that mean? So it's about a guy who puts on a sneaker instead of a girl that puts on a heel or whatever. So it's then awesome. it's not Cinderella. It's just a Sne- movie. It's not. It's Sneakerella. Then don't call it that. But it is Cinderella, but with a guy instead. All right, they they must not want anyone to watch this fucking thing because that sounds terrible. Yeah, no. In the age of um, hey, let's try to get like more involved with women stuff. Let's like, all right, well, let's change one of the most iconic Disney yeah, princesses kind of into a guy. He is a black guy though, so oh, cool, I guess. So is this gonna be? <laughs> is this gonna be? No, I could I could just see you at the pitch meeting. They're like, wait, he's black though, and you're just like, cool. <laughs> But is this going to be like a girl just like running around trying to find this guy that she Probably. danced with at one point? Like, is that all Probably, his movies yeah. going to be? I don't want to watch gonna Cinderella. Be, it's going to be another adaptation of Cinderella, and all of them are exactly the fucking same. And she's he's going to be, be he's going to be a poor slave man. Is that what he's going to be? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be a slave if it's a <laughs> modern day. That's true. Okay, he's gonna be a poor man. He'll, he'll probably be from the hood, and he'll be he'll live in no. the city and like all this shit. All Why this is he going America. to a ball if he's in the hood? No, because he he'll get invited to it from the the rich black girl. Okay, sure. And then he'll I have like two brothers going. that are like, and then they're they're the evil stepsisters or whatever. No, they're no, no. He has two brothers that are good athletes, and they're going yeah, to like exactly. be famous. <laughs> Like, oh, he's a football player and he's a basketball player. You're nothing, Jeremy. Fucking nothing. Get out of here. Daquan. <laughs> don't don't name him Daquan. That's Love a fucking him. name. What is he gonna be called Sneakerella? Because isn't her name I hope Cinderella? Not. Her name is Cinderella. I hope his fucking name is not Sneakerella. That is a <laughs> terrible name to name somebody. Hey, hey, my boy Sneakerella. Let's go. I would never, dude, if if we met and, and I was like, hey, my name's Wade, and you're like, my name's Sneakerella, I'd be like, no, we can't be friends. I'm not calling you that. I cannot take anyone seriously. If I'm not calling anyone that. All right. Oh, my God. I'll call you That's Sneaks. That's hilarious. That, if it's a parody, that could be funny. If it's a parody, it's, it's not going to be. This movie's going to take itself way too fucking seriously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, let's uh, let's change it from a white chick to a black guy so that we way we had don't a black skip. cinderella movie we did in like the but early 2000s they, or some shit but now it's a black man yeah they want a black man so they're not stepping on the is it gay too <laughs> how can oh it could be or is he they trans or some shit i don't know no he could be gay and he's, he's dancing with a guy and the guy's looking for him or whatever it could, it could be it uh, yeah they they want zero people to watch this fucking thing Oh, they don't want China watching it, that's for sure. Oh, China was they're looking at this and they're fuming. What is this? A black like black man? people? If he's gay, like also, penis? They, they'll lose his mind their goddamn minds. Unsubscribe, Disney. It's funny. Um it's weird, but uh 
Spider-Man will be the first movie from Phase 4 to officially air in China because of all the other crap going on with all the other movies. I don't know what happened with Black Widow, but the gay stuff and Eternals... Black, Black they, is in the title, and they were like, no, maybe. no Black people. <laughs> but Eternals had the gay thing, and they didn't want that. And then Shang-Chi, they said, was disrespectful to their culture or something, yeah, so they didn't play that either. Dumb. So, Fuck, China's so weird. Fuck you, China. It's like okay, you just don't get any Marvel movies. Good for you. I'm like, all right, yeah, you just don't get shit. We'll give you more Star Wars movies. <laughs> yeah, here's how you guys here's don't a... like Star Wars, but we'll give you more of them. I still think it's weird that they cut out the gay thing in Star Wars before China and China. China hates Star Wars. Like, what the fuck? What? What? Do, why? Who cares? They don't like China. I don't they... Know. they Disney's tone deaf. Disney doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, I laughed way too hard talking about Sneakerella. Um... <laughs> That's the best. That's the best fucking laugh we've had in a long time. Uh, it really, it's probably the best laugh I've had all week, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. How did uh, how did you feel about Big Hero Six? Uh, well, it's a it's a Baymax series, isn't it? Well, yes. The what I was about to say. I mean, I was asking if you liked the movie Big Hero Six. Oh, I love Big Hero Six. Big, Big Hero Six is a fun fucking movie. It is. It is. But we're getting a Baymax show. Are you interested in that? Cool. All? What the fuck would this be? Just a robot, dude. That can, like a balloon robot. Cool. They they Doing already stuff. had a uh, a Big Hero Six series on Disney Channel, so I don't know what the fuck this is gonna be. This is another uh, not they're that. Just this shit. I think it's gonna be the same animation style as the movie, as far as I cool. Know. What is the show about? It's about Baymax doing Baymax stuff. I that no, that sounds dumb. <laughs> he doesn't gonna... talk, does he? I don't know. Does talks. he talk? Yeah, because remember he gives like the he's like uh, giving the medical advice or whatever and stuff like that to the kid. Oh the that, yeah, that's right. I yeah. forgot. So, yeah, he does. Okay, talk. I was about to say. I was like, are you gonna make a fucking whole show about a character that doesn't talk? And he's got like an Iron Man suit at the end of that movie. So if it's a continuation right. from that, he's just gonna be Iron Man. <laughs> but but is the Big Hero Six gonna be in it? Because then it's just gonna be a Big Hero Six show. I don't is think it's just so. Baymax. It's just about Baymax. Because it's called Baymax. I think it's just about I Baymax. Don't I don't bad. know. I don't know. But just about Baymax. That sounds bad. <laughs> and then I got one more Disney thing. Um, actually, I have three more, but one of only one of them is Disney. I'm oh, going to mention the other two. Uh, we're getting a live-action Chippendale Rescue Adventure movie. How do you go about that? Wait, it's live-action? That's what I've heard. So, wait, so works. this is going to be like Alvin and the Chipmunks? I guess. I guess, but there's no humans. I don't want that. Chip and Dale, is there? No. No. I was going to say, is this going to be like a Lion King situation? Yeah, I think it's going to be like a Lion King situation. <laughs> Lion King, where they, they were, oh, it's a live action Lion King. It's not fucking live action. Well, when I read the thing, it said live action slash CG. So I'm guessing that's what they mean. Like, oh, it's live action, one. but it's CG. Like the no, Lion King is CG. It's, it's it live looks action. live action, but it's CG. Okay, but it's not live action. It's still CG. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be like Lion King. Also, why okay. didn't we establish a Lion shit King? about Rescue Rangers? I don't know because that movie's like what thirty years old, forty years old at this point. That, that's like even like before our time. Like I, I yeah, kind of know them a little bit, but like that's before us. It was the 80s, I think. Yeah. As far as, far as I know. Because um, I didn't watch a lot of Chippendale <laughs> Rescue Adventure whenever I was growing up. I watched because I, I, I know what they, they had are. a show. They had a show on Disney Channel in like the early 2000s that was like Chippendale. Uh, like, I vaguely remember it. Yeah. So now we're going to have uh, live action chipmunks just run around. Cool. Didn't we establish, though, that in Lion King? That they couldn't do facial expressions on live action animals, so it looked awful. So why are we doing it again? Are they gonna have facial expressions? Is that well, be I case? mean, how? Yeah, that's the thing. Are these gonna be like over exaggerated chipmunks? Or are they just gonna look like real chipmunks? I don't know. That's a good point. Because if they look like Alvin and the Chipmunks, then they're not gonna look like real chipmunks. Then what's the point? In doing just do a live that. action CG. There is no point to any of this shit. That's true. Also, yeah, who who cares? Like you said about this, like there's no kids that are like, I need more Chip and Dale in my life. It's like no. 
They nobody, no kid nowadays Mother, has seen. Why is there no more rescue rangers? <laughs> and she just, I don't know, son. They haven't made another one since 1984. Since before you were born. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. Anyways, um. Sorry, you cut out there. Did you say something? Your internet was cutting out. I said it's. I said it's odd. Oh, it's odd. Yes, yes, it is odd. Uh, I'm gonna leave my last two. So if you got anything else I didn't mention, Disney wise, I don't have throw them at me. anything Disney stuff. All right. Well, I got some Nat Geo stuff that I thought may interest you. Uh, <laughs> oh boy! I saw some of this. Uh, so the first thing is we're getting a limitless show. It's with Chris Hemsworth. It's just about him traveling the world, doing workouts and stuff. That's fun. It's just, it's just an excuse for Chris for Chris Hemsworth to get paid and work out. Yeah, yeah. Um, Chris Hemsworth is a funny enough guy, though. I, I could see somebody watching this. No, he could. Yeah, yeah, he could carry. He could host that show and make it funny and, and entertaining. Oh, yeah. But it's like just a, an excuse for him to work out and get paid. I think it's kind of like the Jeff Goldblum show, where he's going to go work out with different people and stuff around Probably. the world. Like, I think that's what it's going to be. Um, and then this, when's, this they is, didn't fucking say anything about the Jeff Goldblum show. When's season two coming? I know. I don't know. I if actually like doing season two. I don't know. If they're I think doing they are. I think they said two. they shot it. Well, I thought a while ago because Jeff, Jeff Goldblum was saying some shit about it. Where the fuck is it? It's been like two years. I don't know, man. Season one was great, though. I love season one. Season one was a lot of fun. I love the sneaker one. That was my favorite because he's just like, why? Why do you have so many shoes? <laughs> I like the ice cream one because there's that shot of Jeff Goldblum holding an ice cream cone and it's like really majestic. <laughs> and then uh, this this next one, I don't know if this is specifically a reference um, to Independence Day. It could be. Oh, yeah, it is. But uh, we have a Welcome to Earth show. It very, it very much it. is. With Will Smith, which again, I think is just another Jeff Goldblum show with Will Smith. He's just going around doing stuff with people. Yeah. I, th- this show actually sounds kind of interesting. I'd probably watch this. I would just because I would. I like Will Smith, and he like could Will probably Smith, yeah. host a show easily. So yeah, he's he's yeah. an entertaining enough personality to carry a show. Hey, everybody! Everybody was hooting, holler when he did the YouTube rewind thing. Well, because he didn't belong in that, and it was pretty. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't know. Maybe they'll make it like that. Don't Cringy. make it like that. It, the the first episode, she goes, "Ah, that's hot," <laughs> and then it cuts into the show. So wait, why is it a reference to Independence Day? Though, what is the connection there? Is Welcome there, to Earth. Is, I know, but like his line why? in the fucking movie. I know what the ref. I know what the connection is, but why is there a connection? Because this me? show is just going to be him going around the world, like going to new places and like doing shit. Welcome to Earth. So it has it has nothing to do with aliens. Is that what you're telling me? No. God damn it. <laughs> Did you want Will Smith to go alien hunting? Yes. I would a ghost oh, hunting man. or an alien hunting Will Smith show would be amazing. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Fuck. Imagine, fuck we need to pitch this. Imagine, imagine Will Smith in like a haunted house and he's just <laughs> Oh hell no. He runs out. He's talking and like ghosts like whispers in his ears. Oh or man. fuck. We get Eddie Murphy. And we just make a yeah. live action haunted mansion show, yes. but it's like a real ghost hunter show. That movie's fucking cringe, Fuck. but it is. It's bad. Yes, <laughs> Let's do that. Get Will Smith and Eddie Murphy. They can both call. That's too much black. What do you mean that's too much black? They're not gonna. Black people do not like scary shit. Both of them <laughs> are gonna run out of that place fucking screaming, and then we're not gonna have a show. That and. No, I'm not even going to say this. I could be racist if I say that. I'm not going to say it. Say it, you say fucker. It. Say it. I'm not going to say it. Don't be a bitch. All right, fine. If it's in the dark, we may not see him. <laughs> <laughs> we'd, so, we'd see Will Smith because he's light-skinned. We're not going to see Eddie Murphy at all. Well, I mean, if it's a haunted place, you're not going to have the lights on. It's no fun. I mean, yeah. So That's fair. So, yeah, we probably wouldn't see them anyway. <laughs> Anyways. It's anyway. not racist, by the way. I mean, some people could be like, oh, they said he said he was black. How dare well, they? He? They need to. They, he said a black man's black. They need to, like, <laughs> learn what racist is. Because that's not racist. <laughs> so, our next segment 
Wade. This is the one I was wondering if you have the pop up for it. I know what this is. Oh yeah. I know what this is. I got my shit ready. All right. He's got it. He's got it on lock. Star Wars news. I only got two really. Two that are worth mentioning. I don't know if you have more. Um, do you have anything you want to start out with? Uh, mm-hmm. I've I've got uh, three things. Oh, all right, all right. Well, my first thing is we got an Obi Wan Kenobi first look, kind of a little bit. I don't know if you watched it at all. Did you? I didn't. I didn't watch this. Um, it wasn't like a real trailer. It was kind of like those behind the scene things, them just talking about the show or whatnot. Um, but it did show some concept art for the show. And it looks pretty pretty dope. Um, I saw I saw the concept art of Darth Vader and Obi Wan fighting, and I was like, I don't want that. Uh, I didn't see that, but I saw like an old man Obi Wan on top of like one of those lizard things in the desert. I don't know what those things are called. Oh, the things from like Episode Three that he rides on. No, not the not the not that lizard thing. In Episode Four, like the stormtroopers lie, ride on. It's like dinosaur. Thing. Oh, those things. Yeah, he's riding on one of those. I don't know what those things are called. I'm sure there's a fucking name for them. It'd be cool if it was the thing from episode three. He just no, just it wouldn't. It. I don't want any connections to that fucking thing. Oh, well, there's going to be connections. This takes place right after episode three. Like, there's going to be. It's going to be something. Be... Hello there. There better be how <laughs> the, fucking, the, the opening of the show is. He, he looks straight at the camera and hello there. If he fourth wall breaks, that'd be interesting. But I don't think he would. Uh, and they were I'm also talking about anything you created with Star Wars. <laughs> They, uh, Obi or you McGregor was talking about he was excited to be teaming up again with Hayden Christensen. So there's that. Yeah, hey, that's cool. <laughs> but uh, other than that, we didn't get much about this show. So there's that. Um, I know you saw this. When is this to... show supposed to come out? Is it next year? Yeah, next year. I don't know when next year. I think they said around like April or May, but I don't know for sure. Oh, shit. So surprisingly, we haven't got a trailer yet. So, anyways, um, <clears throat> I know you saw this because you <laughs> you complained about it on your Snapchat. Um, we got an under the helmet, the legacy of Boba Fett coming out. It's like, yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> fuck is this? You can just <laughs> it's about how the origins of Boba Fett. That's what it is. The, the origins of Boba Fett is like three words. Like you can just sum it up in a sentence. What's the three words? He's fucking dumb. <laughs> That's technically four, because he is. Fucking dumb. I anyway, no I... fuck you. <laughs> He's fucking dumb. Well, maybe they're gonna go into like make a background for it. Well, they already did in the prequels. They've maybe. done that. Yeah. So like, what what are they? So gonna it's do? like, all right, what? I don't fight. It's just an excuse for more content that they don't need. More, more boba. Speaking of Boba Fett, though, we got a Boba Fett trailer. We had a Boba Fett trailer for the book of Boba. That wasn't on. That wasn't a Disney Plus Day trailer. There. Well, yeah, but it came out, and we got to talk about it. We do. Um, what did you think about this trailer? Did you watch it for one? I did. I watched the trailer. Um, I watched someone reacting to the trailer. So, <laughs> but I saw. I'm not going to give. Anyway. I'm not going to give Disney the view. So I'm going to watch somebody else yeah, watch it. Fuck, fuck them. <laughs> um. Kind of got some gangster vibes to it. I kind of I like it. Or yes, yeah. as, as my uh, Snapchat autocorrected, it has some hamster vibes to it. I hope um, this show has tons of hamsters in it. I do not. We don't need more space animal pork. If like it has things. hamsters in it, I'll watch it. <laughs> there you go, Disney. If you want Wade to jump back on your bandwagon, I'm not talking like space hamsters or like porgs. I'm talking like just hamsters. Just straight up a hamster. Just just an Earth hamster. If somebody who works on the VFX for this series happens to watch this podcast, which I doubt it, but if somebody did and they just want to throw a hamster in there just to please Wade, do it. So. It's like at the end of uh, The Departed with the rat on the railing. Just have like one shot of a hamster like in the background and I'll watch it. <laughs> just, it's somebody's hamster was just on set. And they're like, oh, shit. Okay, he's in the why sh- not? He's in the shot. <laughs> why, did, why did somebody bring their hamster to set? I don't Let's know. Bring your pet to work day. All right. Usually they mean like bring your dog, not a hamster. Hey, it's 2021. We're not discriminating. I had a weird conversation. This is a little off topic, but I had a weird conversation with somebody. Would you ride a dragon if it was real? Hell yeah. But like, 
<laughs> Wait, what what kind of dragon is it? Are we talking like the Shang Chi dragons that are just like a snake looking thing, or like a dragon with like legs and like like Shrek wings? I'd ride that dragon. It'd be cold up in the sky. Okay. Plus, if you're a bear back in it, coat. if you're a bear back in it, like you're gonna have to like hold on to something. Get a also, saddle. It could, eat, it could eat you. I know you're bear backing. You ain't putting a saddle on no fucking. So this is just a random dragon I met. Yeah, it just landed in your yard, and you're like, I'm gonna hop on that shit, and I'm gonna. Ride that sounds it. like sexual assault. <laughs> bestiality technically anyways um <laughs> i mean it is to a point but like you decide i'm gonna ride it i'm gonna jump on it. i'm gonna ride it uh i mean if it's if a fucking dragon just like landed in my yard right now no i wouldn't touch it i'd stay the fuck <laughs> away but if it was like a pet dragon why not but like if you so if you saw a wild horse you wouldn't jump on it right no so that that's how you figured don't jump on wild dragons would you would you go would you go in the fucking jungle or go to Africa and then just ride a, try to ride on a fucking lion? No. Well, like people ride horses. Nobody rides lions. People ride. Nobody horses. rides dragons. Because dragons aren't real. If they were real, they'd probably try. Exactly. So nobody rides. People have them. tried to. People try to ride giraffes. It didn't go well. They died. That's a horrible fucking idea. <laughs> people ride elephants and rhinos. That's terrifying. Also, I'd much rather ride an elephant. <laughs> Why? An elephant could easily murder you. I don't know. Elephants seem pretty mellow. As long as you don't fuck with them, they're they're cool. They don't care. I'm I'm sure they don't like when you ride on them. Just saying. I'm sure. Give them some peanuts. They're not gonna give a fuck. <laughs> I would love to ride a rhino into battle. That's like been the thing I've oh wanted to do God. since I was like four. No, that sounds miserable. Cause fuck it. Cause you're riding so you'd be like riding it so hard you'd like. The moment it stops, you impale yourself on its horn. Why am I so close to the horn? You, no, you I'm like fall back. forward, and then you would fucking. Well, I'm probably wearing a helmet and stuff, and like knight armor. I don't know why I'm a knight running in a battle in 2021, but that's what I'm doing. with a dinosaur. Imagine like we're at war with like I don't know, China or something, and they're like, "Is oh what is God. that on the horizon? What the fuck is that it's a fucking, fucking rhino? Rhinoceros." <laughs> there's a man with a bazooka on the back of it holy shit that would be at that point if that happened and i was chinese i'd be like all right they win they, like, that's bad that's a man badass. with a bazooka on a that's, rhino that's pretty badass <laughs> if if the chinese did that to us i'd be like all right they win that's cool they win like, just, they just win. give it to them just give them everything what if i rode a cheetah in the battle that's not as cool what What's the cool? Is a rhino the coolest thing I could ride in a battle? Uh, probably. Yeah. Besides, like a dragon. Besides a, a, a mythical beast, yeah. Hey, dragons could have been real at one point. You never know. They weren't. They weren't, but they they maybe. They no, they weren't. How do you know? There's no bones. We have no bones. There's, bone, there's no bones of a lot of creatures that have lived. Doesn't mean they didn't exist. I need proof. Where are the bones? There could have been dragons in dinosaur times, and they just never fossilized. You never know. That's bullshit. Our uh, our Star Wars news is veering off here. Um, <laughs> Good. This is I'd what rather, Star I'd Wars rather news... talk about dragons and shit than Star Wars. This is what our this is what Star Wars news has come to. Is just fucking oh, yeah. talking about dragons. Anyways, um, that's all my news I have though. And what else do you have? It's time to get three. That's that's it. What what did I? That's I only mentioned two about. things. You had said you had three. The, the it was the Boba Fett doc, the Obi Wan shit, and then the Boba Fett trailer. Oh, the Boba Fett trailer. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, <clears throat> do we want to switch it up and do DC news next, or are we doing doing Marvel news? Uh, if you want, I don't really have much of either, so we can do either one. Most of my Marvel stuff is the stuff they announced, which we kind of already knew about. But um, uh, we we could yeah we could probably switch. Switch it up. We'll probably do DC News first because there's more Marvel stuff to talk about. All right, let's talk about some DC News. Dylan needs to make you doing that into like a legit song to play. Anyway, does Dylan even watch the shit anymore? Um, he tries to, but since I don't put it on Spotify anymore, he can't listen to it at work, so he doesn't. Fucking 
<laughs> get, get YouTube premium and you can listen to it at work. You think Don't has money? He has like $5 in his bank account. He don't have money. What the fuck YouTube. is he spending his money on? I don't know. Wendy's? That's where he works. He spends it, gives it back to him, buys more Stop Wendy's. Stop buying so much fucking Wendy's. What are you eating at Wendy's? <laughs> Seeing their salads. <laughs> That's okay. Anyways, um, do you want to hear? We'll save. I'll save the Batman news for last, just in case it pisses you okay. off and you go on a little rant. <laughs> um, uh, Linda Carter was officially cast for One Woman Three, so we kind of figured this would happen. I mean, that but makes it's sense. official. It's yeah, it's it's official. Uh, I don't know, like, if it's since she's officially cast. Does that mean she has a bigger role? I guess is she gonna probably. Be... It's probably. I I have a feeling it'll probably be her and Gal Gadot like teaming up to go do some shit. Do we want this? That's the question. No, I don't <laughs> want any more Wonder Woman movies because Patty Jenkins is going to fuck it up because she's already fucked it up twice. Yeah, we haven't had a good Wonder Woman movie yet, so there's that. Yeah, Third time's a charm, though, Wayne. Third time's no. a charm. Uh, is this not... If this is a sequel, it's got to take place in like at least the 80s, maybe the 90s. So, uh, probably, yeah, at least post 80s. It'll probably be yeah. this one, will probably be another modern day one. You think so? Probably because well, the first... Wonder Woman 1994, like what the fuck? That's Wonder Woman 98. Movie. Why? I don't know. There's what happened in 98 that's like worth it being a setting for a movie. 2001, you can do 9 11. Wonder Woman, <laughs> Wonder Woman's gotta stop 9 11. 9-11 didn't happen in the DC universe because of one Holy movie. shit. Maybe she caused 9-11. Oh my god. That's too dark. You can't do that. It's only it's only been 20 years since then, Wade. We haven't had enough closure. All right. <laughs> uh, anyways. anyways. She, she fucking vaporized the man in Zack Snyder's Justice League in front of a bunch of children. She can't jump through a building. She also oh, chopped Steppenwolf's head off. She did. It was badass. It was. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then, you know, there, she's really goofy in Wonder Woman 84. It's, it's fucking, it's she also rapes movie. a guy. Yeah. And everyone just doesn't talk about that. Yeah. And I hate that movie. Anyways, moving on. Movie. If somebody <laughs> wants to watch us poop all over that movie, go watch our review of that. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, I don't know what Linda Carter's doing in this goddamn movie because we already she's got one Wonder Woman. Asteria. Is she? Is that what she's going to be? That's what she was in the last one. I, I would just assume she's playing the same character. How do we know that was her, though? Because she, show, she fucking showed up at the end and went, hey, I'm Linda Carter. But she didn't say, like, hey, I'm this person. She just, like, winked at the camera. She's, But she was, earlier on, she was the one that when there was that flashback to Asteria in the thing, that was her face. We so didn't, we, that's character. not confirmed. We don't know that. No, it is, Devin. She played that. That was her. I always thought that maybe they were going to do a multiverse thing and have her just be They a could Wonder be Woman doing that, from but she's universe. already established in the fucking thing. Hmm. Weird. Weird. She was also, Linda Carter was also the president in the, uh, in Supergirl for a little bit. So... So she's just all over the DC universe. Exactly. That's I mean. the one thing that I like about the, the DC universe is that like, if you've been in a DC thing, you're going to come back at some point in the future for something else. Like they, they love just recycling actors and stuff and giving them other roles. I don't know. Stuff. Wait, we haven't seen Clooney. I'm waiting for Clooney to come. Well, back. Fuck Clooney. All right. No, George Clooney is a good actor. I like George Clooney. Put him in more shit. He is. I'd love to see him as a character that isn't Batman. Oh yeah, you can. I don't care how you bring him back; just bring him back. Make him Alfred. He's old enough. Imagine if he was Superman. Would you want him as Superman? No, no, not now. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with him being he's Superman? Sixty-eight, Devin. They could do an older Superman, and he's not in shape, and he also doesn't have a Superman face or Superman voice. He was the president of Spy Kids. That's not Superman. He should have been Buzz Lightyear. In the Lightyear movie, yeah. So he's got that voice, but doesn't have a. He's got, he's got more of a Buzz Lightyear voice than a fucking Superman voice. Mm, I guess maybe. 
Anyways, I could um, see Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Like I could see him doing that. Who voiced him in Star the Star Command show? Was it uh, I think I think Tim Allen did the movie. And then I don't know who who voiced them in the show, but it wasn't Tim Allen. I'm surprised they didn't bring whoever that was back. Anyways, um, I didn't know. Maybe we talked about this at one point, um, but I didn't know. But they're making a Blue Beetle movie. Did you hear about this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, filming confirmed to be starting in 2022, so we might get it Fucking at man. the beginning of 2023, at the earliest. That's cool. I didn't know they were making a Blue Beetle movie. Did they cast like somebody Blue for Beetle this? Yeah, it's one of the kids in Cobra Kai. I haven't watched Cobra Kai, so I don't know who this kid is. Mm. Oh, I do remember us talking about this. Yeah. He's a little Mexican boy. Yeah. Anyways, uh, my last piece of news is the Batman stuff. So if you got anything, oh, shit. lay it on me. Uh, there. This isn't really like news, but everyone's been talking about it. Um, apparently, the Snyder Cut is responsible for the New Gods movie being canceled. And apparently everyone's like all pissed off of that now. No, the New Gods movie being canceled is because it's fucking stupid. Uh, well, Ava DuVernay, who was going to direct that movie, in an interview, I guess somebody asked her about it. And she was like, well, there was another thing coming out that had, you know, that featured Darkseid in it and that, you know, caused my movie to get the axe or whatever. And it's like, I I could But if it's kind not canon... It, why does it matter? Yeah, I can kind of get... Justice League's canon. Yeah, I can kind of get that, but at the same time, Warner Brothers is not give a fuck about Zack Snyder's Justice League. Like, unless they're that incompetent that they're just like, oh, we're going to make this thing, so fuck you. Like, they don't care. They didn't care about Zack Snyder's Justice League in the first place, no. so why would they then cancel this other movie that has nothing to do with that movie? I don't know. Again, if it's not canon to your universe, which Zack Snyder's Justice League isn't, then why does it matter? Because Darkseid's not in Justice League. Exactly. So I don't fucking know. know. Maybe it's just because it was a bad movie. Because it's or sounded maybe like or maybe she was she was attached to that movie before a Wrinkle in Time came out, and then a Wrinkle in Time came out, and it fucking bombed and it sucked. And then DC <laughs> was like, eh, maybe we just don't make the movie. Because that's 99 percent of the time when that happens, that's usually what happened. A director gets attached to something, and then they make a movie, and then that movie sucks. And then they're just like, all right, we don't want to do it this anymore. I think New Gods sounded like a bad movie to me. I don't I don't know about you. It, it could have worked. There, there's some decent New Gods comics and, and stories and stuff they've, they've done. It could work. I just think it's weird to jump into that when we're only 10 movies into the and DC. We technically, movie. in canon, have not seen Dark Side yet, technically. Yeah. Like so. I, I think they need to establish a little bit more of the world first before they jump into New Gods. I would be but severely confused going into it because I, I don't know much either. about the New Gods and specifically like they haven't mentioned any of them in the DC universe. So nope. there's that. Anyway, um, I don't care that this got axed. This is the same thing with Trench. I didn't think the Trench was going to be good either, but that got canned. Dude. Yeah, I, I don't really give a shit either way. I'm glad that movie got canned because that sounded like I would. I would like to see the New Gods in something at some point. I don't know if it necessarily needs to be a movie, though. I think they would be good. Yeah, I think they would be good in something. Maybe not a whole movie about them, though. Yeah. Well, maybe a TV show because DC's killing it on TV. Do a TV show. Yeah. They're doing way, way better than their movies. Yeah. I don't know. Their movies seem like they could be doing a comeback. They're they're making they're trying their their hardest to come back. James Gunn, did he light that fire underneath <laughs> him? <with the> James <laughs> Gunn made a good movie and they're like, fuck, we need to just keep doing this. <laughs> what if we just know. make good movies? I don't know, dude. The Flash, the Batman, she's uh Black well, Adam, they all they look, Shazam too looks cool. Shazam too, they all look good. I'm excited. I'm excited. Aquaman's still the one where I'm like, uh, I don't know about this one. You can make a good Aquaman movie. The first one wasn't good, you but can. you can make one. You you can. They just won't. <laughs> they're not competent enough to make a good Aquaman movie? No, they're not. Aquaman needs to be Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah, it would work. Aquaman and Thor are kind of similar characters, honestly. They kind of are, and they they need to because I it I find that so fascinating that like Thor Ragnarok 
is an amazing Aquaman movie, but it's a terrible <laughs> Thor movie. Like, just switch the characters and switch the worlds. It totally would work. I think it's an amazing Thor movie, personally. It's not. It's bad. We're not going to get into that. I mean, that's another one of those movies that me and Wade debate on all the time. It's a bad movie. I will debate anyone on that because I feel like I have accurate criticisms. of. You can you can not like it, Wade, but I like it. So I'm just saying. And the majority of people agree with me that it's a good movie. So maybe you're the one who's wrong. You ever think about that? I don't give a shit. (laughs) I'm not wrong. Maybe everyone else is wrong and I'm right. That's true. That could be it. It could be it. Imagine when you get to heaven and you just like ask like God, like, was this a good movie? And he tells you like, if it's actually a good movie. Is Thor Ragnarok a good movie? And he's like, yes, you fuck. Go to hell. <laughs> he's like, and you're like, he's like, what about BBS? It's like, yeah, you know, what? actually that is a good movie. Everybody Dude, else hated it. God, God would fucking get down with some Zack Snyder. All right. It's like anything Zack Snyder made. He'd be like, oh, dude, Zack Snyder is like my favorite. Like, fucking, I Chef ain't. Kiss. Watch, Watchmen? You've seen Watchmen? That shit's dope. <laughs> like, he's the only one who knows, like, if a movie's truly good or bad. He's he's the he's the answer. I mean, at that point, I'd I'd have a, a an eternity long argument with God because he'd probably have some stupid opinions. <laughs> he'd be like, Taxi Driver. That's a terrible movie. I'd be like, what the? I'd be fuck? like, what? All right. <laughs> we need to just sit here for ten eternities and just bitch about this because this is that's no that's not right and you're just you're gonna just be like look you were alive like two thousand years ago like you don't how do you, even, how do you even know what a movie is <laughs> exactly it's like i've been watching i understand what's happening i've been watching the whole time obviously not because you're a fucking moron <laughs> i would <laughs> that's how i would end up in hell it's not for doing anything on earth it's for calling god a fucking moron for not his, liking his text, stupid right? opinions on movies <laughs> Uh, anyways, what other DC news do you have? Uh, that's it. All right, drum roll for the Batman news. Boom. What do you think this is? Cool. If you had to guess bad news for the Batman, probably something about the Joker or some shit. It is. It is something about the Joker. Fucker. Um, there fucker. is going to be a version of the Joker in the Batman. Fucking bitches. All right. <laughs> um, it's. They casted somebody. I don't remember who it was, but he kind of encrypted this on Instagram, and then it leaked that his brother accidentally confirmed that he is playing the Joker in the Batman. I don't know how much of a role he has. He could be an after credit scene. Could be. I don't care. He does not belong in this fucking movie. <laughs> you don't want no Joker? We just had a Joker movie. We did. We don't need to see him again. We just had two Jokers, technically. We had the DCEU Joker, and we had a Joker. Oh, that's true. Like, you were going to make everyone get so fucking tired of the Joker. <laughs> He's not going to be a profitable character anymore. Yeah. Especially when you keep making different versions of him. Yeah. Everyone's going to be like, all right, well, why give a shit? Because they're just going to make another one in, like, two years. Like, all right. And they all, they're all kind of the same? All the versions of the Joker? They're For all the kind of... Part. They're all kind of Heath Ledger Joker. So, yeah, post Heath Ledger, they're all kind of trying to emulate Heath Ledger in a way. They're not going to go super different with the Joker. They're not. I I would love <clears throat> if they do what they did on Gotham and do the, the Joker that, like, cut his face off and just go, like, real weird and, like, <laughs> fucked up and dark with it. Because they did that in the comics, and it was weird and it was fucked up there. Do that shit. But if you're not going to do that shit, don't even touch it. You wouldn't want, like, a Cesar Romero joker I, back. if if you're making a campy parody batman like the adam west stuff sure imagine that joker in the batman that, that would be, be so weird that would be so fucking out of place do you think this might be the setup though for the batman 2 or do you think this is like a real shit thing in the Batman? probably because i know there this whole thing is planning to be a trilogy the sound this sounds like to me a spider-man 3 situation like you're putting too many goddamn villains in one movie but Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I mean, that's it, it definitely it could could be. I mean, I don't, if if the Joker's in it and they're not marketing that the Joker's in it, he's probably got a very small, like maybe a cameo in it. And maybe they're saving him for like another movie. It could be a post credit thing. I don't know. Because um, if if he was a villain in the movie, they would for sure market that in the trailers and be like, "Hey, the Joker's in this." Um, so it might well, be a they, small thing. They also have people dressed up in clown makeup in the movie. Like we saw that in the trailer. Do you think like there is a Joker already established and these are like his followers? Or Probably. Something? 
Maybe probably. I could see that. I could see that. That, that makes sense. It's year makes two sense. Batman. He's. I'm sure the Joker's been around for a little bit. I would like that if they maybe mentioned that the Joker existed, but they never showed him. That would be nice. no. Don't I would... mention. Don't fucking say his name. Well, no, like, but like you, you like lean into it. Like, oh, these are the henchmen of the, like you know that guy. Like you know you know that guy. Uh, I don't know. I I would be totally fine if it's just like if there's just people with face paint on who like maybe they're not associated with the Joker, but they like worship him or something. Like that's fine. I don't kinda I don't like need the, any fucking acknowledgement of the Joker. Kind of like the end of the Joker movie where like a bunch of people were like, yeah, Joker. Woo, yeah. yeah, sure. That'd be fine. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll see. We'll see if that's how it goes. But I hope that's how it goes. I have a feeling though, DC. Not DC. Warner Brothers is shoving this shit down Matt Reeves' throat, being like, "Look, you're putting this in the goddamn movie, putting the Joker in there." They probably are. He's probably just like, "I just want a simple movie." He's like, "Can I just make a movie about how Batman is like a fucking mentally ill psychopath?" And they're like, "No, we gotta sell toys." Damn it. He's probably like, "I made Planet of the Apes and it was good. Like I did that. Like, do you ever forget I did that?" I don't give a shit. You're making Batman now. All right. (laughs) You're making Batman now. And we need to sell toys. We can't sell toys of a crazy person. We need to sell toys. There was no Planet of the Apes toys. I'm sure there was something. I don't. I don't know if there was a toy, but there was probably something. There, there's action figures of them. Are, are there really? <laughs> yeah, they're, they weren't in like stores. They're like like like, like collectors. Oh, items I see. Whatever, but they have some. I'm still excited for the Batman though. It could be great. Could be great. I'm excited for the Batman. I think I think it is I'm, going to be a good movie because Matt Reeves knows what the fuck he's doing. I'm worried it might be a little overflated, but we'll see. We'll I don't see. Know. All right, we ready for the Marvel news? Marvel news. We got a lot of shit that happened on Disney Plus Day. Fucking so much shit. So much poop. We had to swim through it to find the good stuff, but we did it. We did. Anyways, I'm going to start with stuff that didn't happen on Disney Plus Day, just just because I want to. I feel like it. Um, so there was a like, there's a glitch in Disney Plus's system. I don't know if you heard about this, and it's showing some people uh, that you can watch the Raimi and Webb Spider Man movies on there. I don't know if this means something, a new deal has struck between Sony and Disney about Spider Man stuff. I don't know, but those might be dropping when like the trailer comes out, the second trailer. That maybe well, I know shows. they, I know they had a deal because this was news a while ago that like Sony, they they made a deal with Disney to have those movies on Disney Plus, but it was after like a while because yeah. they were, they're supposed to show up on like Netflix first and then go somewhere else and then come to Disney Plus. So maybe maybe they're there and they're just waiting for the, for them to like put them up. But some people's Disney Pluses have been glitching, and they can watch them already. That's fucking weird. It is weird. Uh, a lot of people are saying, like, oh, maybe they'll drop if they drop a second trailer, and then that's they odd. show Toby and Andrew, and then like, oh, here, you can watch them on Disney Plus. That's weird, but all right. Speaking of the second trailer, uh, it is confirmed we're getting it on Tuesday. I don't know when this podcast will be coming out. but uh, Probably around Monday, Tuesday. <laughs> so, uh be on the lookout for that. If you don't want spoilers, I have a feeling Toby and Andrew are going to be in that trailer. That I can't even fucking imagine what that trailer is going to show. Do you think it's going to break the record of the first trailer? The first record broke in games. If trailer. if Toby and Andrew are in it, yes. You think so? Yes. They put Toby, Andrew, and Charlie all in the same goddamn trailer. Uh, Charlie Cox is not going to break the fucking record. It's going to be Toby and Andrew. True. Charlie Cox might be in the trailer because there was a leaked image of him in the fucking movie. That came there out. Was. I saw it and it pissed me off. But <laughs> the, hey, they could still cut him from the movie. You never know. They could. I'm sure he's got a very small part. They won't. I doubt. I doubt they, they fucking won't. Could you imagine the they, outrage? Yeah, specifically from you. I'd be fucking pissed. <laughs> I will write to Kevin personally. Be like, you fucked up. That's all you say. You don't say anything. You don't mention anything else. You fuck. You fucked up, my man. You you fucked up. You done so. Dead. (laughs) Also, uh, Spider Man related. We did get an official poster. What did you think about the poster? 
poster's fine. It's better than the other goddamn posters they put out for Spider-Man movies. It's not a great every poster, poster, but hey. Every poster has been kind of dookie for the Spider-Man movies. It's probably Far from Sony home had movie. garbage posters. Oh, yes. It had one of the worst posters I've ever seen. Honestly. It was terrible. Because it's just Spider-Man oh, and Mysterio just being like, mm. is it? Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, there is a little little Green Goblin in the poster trailer. Or not the poster trailer, the poster. <laughs> well, then, in the same goddamn suit that he's in the Rami, like, updated at all. Uh, well, I think that they're doing that for the poster, but I think the movie, it's been linked that he does have a different suit. It's the same suit, but it's been, it's altered or whatever. So, and I think he loses his helmet, so he doesn't have the dumb helmet in this. So, that, so it's just so going to be so. Willem Dafoe's fucking face? It's going to be Willem Dafoe's face, and he's still got the, the body armor, but it's going to be like and different. Willem Dafoe looks like a goblin. I was going to say, just paint him green. Maybe he goes crazy and paints himself green. Fuck. Could do be. that. Well, the has got a goblin face. They could do that. I thought they were going to totally show fine. a little bit of every villain in the poster, but I didn't see anything lizard related. I saw some Saiyan, and I saw no, some electricity. And I saw a goblin, and I saw what the, the fucking lizard going to do. You see some scales. Uh, Show his tail or something. I don't know. I, I, don't know. I don't know. I think they only dropped that poster though because it leaked beforehand. Like they seem to be dropping shit if it leaks. So leakers like Probably, go yeah. leak shit. Because the first trailer leaked online Probably. and then they dropped the trailer did they the next day. Shit though. Like when did they plan on they're just hey, here's one trailer like a week before the movie comes out? Like when did they plan to drop? Because even the first trailer came out really late. Yeah, it did. So it's like when did they, and, uh, when did they fucking... if this Dude. drops on Tuesday, it literally will be like a month before the movie comes out. Is when the second trailer drops. It's gonna be kind of crazy. Wow. Yeah, I don't know their marketing strategy for this. I guess their marketing strategy is having people just talk about it. Probably that's smart, but then don't release anything. Don't put out a second trailer. It'd be it'd be ballsy to not put. It any trailer i thought in game that, that would be fucking really cool i thought in game might have done it to net not drop a trailer but in in game didn't need a trailer it didn't but they still put one out they did yeah the first it'll be crazy when a movie doesn't drop a trailer if it, if there's a movie that's that hyped i i, I want to know what that movie is Holy fuck i mean it's possible <laughs> all someone has to do is go see a movie and go hey this movie's fucking rad and then just passes just word of mouth. That's all it takes. Hey, that's what happened before trailers existed. Exactly. Well, I mean, trailers have always kind of been around, but not when like black and white movies were coming out. They didn't have no. That's not true trailers. at all, Devin. What did they watch it on? They showed them in the movie theater. But like, if you didn't go to the movies, you wouldn't know. You well, yeah, theater. but back in like the the 30s and shit, everyone was at the theater all the time because that's how the people got their news. Also, they had nothing else to do. Oh, yeah, and then it was the fucking 30s, and then you got shit to do. <laughs> the theater. Anyways, um, we got some Henry Cavill Marvel news. I'm sure you've heard about oh, this. Oh, I've heard about this, yeah. Uh, he kind of said he's open to playing Captain Britain if he's, they want He him. said he, he's heard about the rumors, and he, he would like to see Captain Britain on the big screen. He uh, Everyone is taking that and and a thing necessarily wants to be Captain Britain. I think he still kind of is hoping for Superman. Hey, if DC don't want to fucking use him, I say let Marvel just fucking eat. Take him. I mean, Take yeah, if, if DC. DC's not going to do anything with him, but I, I'm still holding out hope that DC was putting him in something. I've been hoping for too long. It's almost been a decade since. Yeah, but like Steel. with Dwayne Johnson coming in and him, him, actively saying i want to fight henry cavill in a movie i have a feeling it even if dc doesn't want to dwayne johnson's gonna get his ass in a movie i don't know man i don't know i don't think i don't think it's gonna happen. i'm it's becoming the black the black adam thing for me where yeah. it's like i'm not gonna believe it until i yeah and that happens 
And that's happening. So yeah, I mean that did that did happen, but this I'm I'm skeptical. I don't know. I don't know. No, if it's I'm, I'm holding out hope. I think I think he'll show up. At I least would love one to see time. him. I would love to see him as Captain Britain because then he wouldn't have to do his American voice. He can actually do his British voice. Yeah, that'd be fun. Because nice. uh, not nobody casts him as British people. They cast him as fucking American people in yeah, all these goddamn it's, movies. It's very weird the way they do that. So, anyways, um, we also got some Black Panther news. I know you saw you saw some of this stuff. Is this? Too. I saw this. Is this official or is this a rumor? Uh, it's a rumor, as far as I know. I haven't seen any okay. official confirmation by anybody. But it's rumored that M'Baku is going to be the new Black Panther, which makes sense to me. I kind of figured this. I didn't want Shuri to be Black Panther. I think that's a terrible idea. I don't like her in these movies. Um, speaking of her, by the way, she shut down the set of Black Panther 2 with her anti-vax sickness that she's got going on. Oh, I heard um, it was an injury. It's an. I think it's an injury, or it could be she has COVID. They're kind of playing it two different ways so that the media doesn't freak out if she has COVID. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like people are like complaining to her that like, oh, why aren't why aren't you vaccinated? What's wrong with you? Because she doesn't have to. She doesn't. If she doesn't want to vaccinate, she doesn't fucking have to. Leave her the fuck alone. She doesn't, but she should just not be in the movie because she's not. I don't like her. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't like that interpretation. Sure, just in general. But I'm if it's true that Mbaku is Black Panther, I'm glad they didn't go the Shuri route. I'm just saying. I'm I glad also, it, that I agree with that, and I'm also glad they didn't bring back Killmonger and make him Black Panther because I know that's what everyone has been like. Oh, just bring in Killmonger again and make him Black Panther. It's like no, here he curious, was Black Panther. Yeah, true. I'm curious how they're gonna do the whole Chadwick Boseman thing. Are they just going to say like he's off doing something? I don't know. They Probably. I think it, it's such a missed fucking opportunity to not do like an anthology like trilogy with this Black Panther series. Now that Chadwick Boseman is gone, do, this next movie should be a prequel with T'Chaka. You could have. That could have been so it. fucking cool. But they're not. So. Set in the, in the 90s, man. They keep doing all these superhero movies before Iron Man, and they're like, "How does anybody? How does nobody know about superheroes before Iron Man?" Black Black Panther makes sense though, because he's operating in Wakanda and he's operating in secret, and like Captain Marvel doesn't make any fucking sense because she just falls into a blockbuster and is just out in the open for the whole movie. Shield covered it up. It's fine. Nobody heard about it. Sure. All right. <laughs> what about the Eternals? Nobody talked about the Eternals being around for thousands nope. of years. Anyways, uh, last piece of non Disney Plus Day news um, that I have: uh, we got Stallone is returning in Guardians Three, officially. Cool. Maybe now he'll actually do something. I doubt it. He's probably just gonna be another cameo. <laughs> I was gonna say he's gonna scream at Michael Rooker again, but Michael Rooker's dead. They could do a flashback. He could. I was about to say he fuck. He could. I would love. Are oh, you fuckers? Just stupid blue face. Pretty much what he did in Guardians. Well, so. wasn't isn't his group like the original Guardians group or something? That's what they was. Um, yeah, in the comics, he's um, he's he's Starhawk, and then uh, there's uh, the other members of the the Guardians and stuff. Um, they are the original ones, so maybe maybe we'll see them in action. I don't know. I don't know what they're see gonna see them do. team up with the new Guardians. That could be interesting. Guardians. Stallone and Pratt. Miley Cyrus is technically in the original one. Yeah, she, she voices she that voice robot. One of the, yeah. Yeah. Voices she's, of the Miley movie. Cyrus is in the MCU. That's so fucking weird. And Harry Styles is also now in the MCU. We're just getting... Holy shit. It's getting all no pop Yeah, no whole... It's Taylor Swift next, coming in. I was going to say, next we're going to get Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift. And Don't put Justin Bieber anywhere near this shit. You can put him in there as long as he dies. And he's like some random... Like pedestrian that just dies. Have him have him be like Cosmo the space dog, and then like punch him in the face. <laughs> you really just you don't like Justin Bieber, do you? What he ever do to you? He's just a, a punk. I don't know. He's a punk. Yeah. Have you seen that video of him telling those those girls like this is my home, and you're outside my house, like that's inappropriate, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 
<laughs> like he came home. There was like a bunch of fangirls outside of his house. And he goes, look, like, I love you guys, but like, this is my house. Like, I want to just go home and not deal with this. Can you like not? And then she goes, yeah, cool. I'll, well, I'll do that. Maybe, Can I have a like, don't have a gigantic fucking mansion. <laughs> well, the, be what's funny is the chick. Apartment somewhere. The chick was like, after like she was like, yeah, sure, that's that's cool or whatever. But can I have a hug? And he's like, oh, fuck, like, come on. He's like, no, no, get get the fuck get out the of my fuck house. alone. I it's like that Harrison Ford thing where he the Harrison Ford they show her that magic trick and he's like, get the fuck out of my house, like <laughs> fuck out of my house. That's one of the greatest pieces of media ever. I, it's I so love that funny. Fucking- I saw it the other day and I thought it was funny. Get the fuck out of my house. Because I imagine like that wasn't scripted. I imagine that he just fucking No. <laughs> Harrison Ford was like, this is some fucking witchcraft. Get this shit out of my house. Get out. I don't believe out. in this magic shit. And get out of my house. Harrison Ford hates magic. <laughs> Anyways, um, do you have anything else that's non Disney Plus Day related that you want to talk about Marvel One? Uh nope. All right, let's get into the Disney Plus Day stuff. So first and foremost, the most important thing, we got a Moon Knight teaser. Did you watch this? We did. I didn't watch it. I saw images of it, though. Uh, It looks good. And I'm surprised as to they look like they're going all the way with this and that he's going to be a crazy person. Are they, is it is it gonna be like violent and like disgusting and shit? Because that's how I don't know. Are. I don't know about disgusting. It does look violent, and it does, does it look really? like he yeah, based on the teaser, and it lo- does okay. look like because he's like there's a it doesn't it doesn't show any action, but it does show like a shot of him surrounded by just people on the floor, mm-hmm. and he's like twitching and stuff. He's like, all right, all right, I'm. They seem like they might be going all the way with this. I don't know though. It's just a, it could be Fucking edited good. that way in the trailer. I don't know. He he probably in the actual show he'll be like quippy and be hey I'm fucking retarded. I don't know. They they didn't show any of that in the trailer if that's the case, but uh, they did oh. show a cool shot of a silhouette silhouette of him in the suit jumping in front of the like a. Full I saw moon. that image. That image is a cool. Yeah, that that it was dope. That was suit dope. looks so fucking cool. I I like the design of that suit. It does. It does. I'm excited. This the show looks really good. And I hope they go all out with this. Like fucking he's, really good. He's a crazy person. If they do, it gives me hope that maybe Daredevil will get revived correctly. And they yeah, it's... and they don't fuck it up. Like just yeah. I I don't want like a, a Daredevil reboot. I just want season four of that it'd show. Be, it would be great. It would be great. Yeah. Maybe they can't specifically call it season four, but they just jump right back yeah, into where nah, season that's three. bullshit. Call it season four. I'm just saying, if they can jump right back into it, but just not call it season four, I'd still be okay with that. <laughs> they just call it Daredevil or whatever. And sure. Continue from there. Um. Anyways, and we the also Daredevil. got call it Daredevil. So you just the said? the Daredevil. Oh, the Daredevil. They can call it the Devil of Hell's Kitchen. They can call it that too. That fuck. That'd be a dope name. <laughs> uh, we also got a She Hulk teaser. Did you Did you see this? I I saw this. It it was very basic. It was very it seemed exactly what i pictured it would be we did get confirmation she will be fourth wall breaking so that's interesting fucking cool it's cool we also got a professor hulk thing yeah which is weird because like what the fuck what is going on with bruce, with bruce banner in the mcu because <laughs> like he's professor hulk but then he wasn't in shang chi and i saw like a, a set image of mark ruffalo as just bruce banner so it's like is he gonna like reverse that i think that's fucking stupid I think in She-Hulk, he's going to reverse it, and Shang-Chi takes place after She-Hulk, I'm guessing. But So, like, is he going to give her his Hulk powers? No, I think yeah, he's just going to be he's like... He's not Hulk anymore? Yeah, he's. I think he's just going to be like, I don't want to be smart Hulk anymore. I'm just going to turn back into Bruce That's Banner. That's so Hulk fucking anymore. dumb, because that was the whole thing in Endgame, was that he found a way to cure his his illness, or his, his you know, attachment to this thing. If he could just not be Hulk altogether. Why didn't he just fucking do that? I don't know. I don't think he's going to get rid of the Hulk. I think he's just going to not want to be smart no. Hulk or something. Because I think it's mainly so, because so of fan outrage. Dumb Hulk? Yeah, he'll go back to just Bruce Banner and dumb Hulk. That's what I think. That's so fucking dumb. 
It's fan just, outrage. Just Nobody likes something. Smart Hulk, apparently. So. F- fuck what the fans want. Commit to something. <laughs> Plus, that was kind of more the Russo's decision. They were like, yeah, let's make him smart Hulk. Why not? And that's kind of a natural like progression for his character. You just want another you just want Hulk fucking running around again. Like, I think him becoming Professor Hulk is kind of like that that kind of completes his his arc in a way. It's like he's he's learned he learned a way how to work together with the Hulk. True. I don't know. Whatever. It's weird. It's fucking bullshit. Maybe he does. Maybe he's just not Hulk anymore and he gives it to his cousin. If, I, have a, if, I have a feeling. Yeah, it's like, all right. Also, they're going, I don't know if you noticed, but they're going the route with a painted lady instead of CG, which is cool. I like that. It's a good touch. Are they? Because in the the first look thing, it looked very much CG. No, it was, it was paint. It may have been touched up a little bit, but it is, she is painted. She's just painted in the show. Okay. Or makeup or whatever. Whatever. I mean, that makes is. sense because she looks, I mean, she just looks like a lady. So. She's like a little bit buffer, normal person. That's what she looks like. She's yeah, kind of tall. She's taller, but yeah, I was gonna say she's kind of tall. But um, yeah, yeah. It also looks like it's more of a lawyer thing than anything else, which is cool. I kind of I like the lawyer stuff in Daredevil. So oh, yeah, that's what's, that's what's that. gonna be. Yeah. I'm all about that. I'm wondering how the fourth wall break is gonna work. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't know. I hope I hope Marvel doesn't like go overboard with that shit. Well, it kind of looks like at the end it was filming for like a TV show. Cause like Mark Ruffalo looked like he understood there was a camera there. And I'm like, that's strange. Cause like, mm, don't go that far. I don't, I don't want like, that's the thing I don't want with Deadpool in the MCU where it's like, I don't want the other characters to like acknowledge that. Oh, we're also well, in a movie. I think like, it's going to look like they're filming a TV show about Hulk in the MCU. And that's why it's fourth wall breaking. We're just seeing it through. Oh but no! That, that's fuck, what I that's lame. That's lame. Don't do. That's that. what I thought. Only because do I that. saw. Only because I saw Hulk realize that he's looking to a camera too. That's but fucking lame. I don't could be wrong. That. Maybe that shot it just looked like he was staring into the camera, just because. I don't know. He he might be. She might be like looking off and doing a fourth wall thing, and he's probably looking at her like, "What the fuck are you doing? What, what are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. What the fuck? Who the hell are you talking to? I don't know. I don't know. Because see, in that shot at the end, he was normal Bruce Banner. He wasn't mm-hmm. Smart Hulk. Unless they CGI'd that out in for the trailer for some reason. I, I don't think they did. Um, but yeah, so I'm guessing he loses his Hulk. At least dumb. Smart Hulk. Form. I don't know if he's losing his Hulk form. It's fucking but... dumb, man. Anyways, um, moving on to we got a couple of animated stuff mm-hmm. we got coming back. Um, first and foremost, what we knew what was happening, we're getting what if season two pass, pass, <laughs> wait, veto. Nope, I not don't give a it. fuck about this. <laughs> uh, we're getting a Marvel Zombies animated show. I saw this. Is, is it going to be an entire series of Marvel Zombies? That's it um, is, it is at least like a at least a mini series. I don't know if it's going to have a second, it, it might be, a, it might be a mini series. That, um, that was the that was the best episode of the what if, in my opinion. Yeah. So. That could work. Is it going to be like in the same universe as that episode, or is this going to be I, a different thing? I don't know because it's called Marvel Studios Marvel Zombies. So I'm mm-hmm. guessing it might be connected to that. I don't know. They could just be like, oh, it's another multiverse with zombies in it. It's not the same one. That's possible. Yeah. They could just do that too. I don't know. Um, I know that this next one you weren't excited about, but apparently a lot of people are. Um, Spider Man freshman year. Mm-hmm. Why aren't you excited for this? Because. How many goddamn Spider-Man cartoons do we have? Well, this why is do we, why do we need another one? This is Tom Holland Spider-Man officially. Tom Holland's is, not gonna be in it. He's not, but it is his Spider-Man, and it's his origins in the MCU. And I'm like, we didn't show that for a fucking reason. But but here's exactly. I was about to say that they Homecoming actively avoided his origins for a specific purpose because they understood. Hey, you've seen his origins twice. We don't need to see them again. So now they're just they're. They're going back and treading ground that we've already covered multiple times and we don't need in the MCU. What's no, the purpose of going backwards when the whole purpose of this Spider-Man in the MCU is seeing him grow up? What like what's the whole point of going back then? Because they want to murder Uncle Ben again. Fuck you. <laughs> if that happens, fuck this whole show. 
That's it. But if, if it's his origins, that's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to murder Uncle Manny. <sighs> Fuck the show. I don't know. Plus, I saw like a little, there was like a little glimpse in the Disney spotlight thing of like what, like an animation. And I hope that's not it. It looks like 2D, like weird drawing animation. Well, I, it, I, I hope some of these fucking animated things go back to 2D. I'm, I'm tired of that like weird 3D, 2D thing that every fucking show does. It now. can like, be go 2D, back but to proper it, 2D animation. It looked like garbage 2D if it was, if that's the animation style. So I hope that's not the style that we're getting. It's possible. I don't know. And I, I saw a lot of people were freaking out like, oh, does that mean they got the Spider-Man rights back? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. No, they have, the, they have the TV rights. I was going to say, they have had the TV rights for Spider-Man for years. Um, it'd be interesting if this was a live action thing, because then I'd wonder. I'd be like, hmm, how does I, that I work? think a live action Spider-Man TV show would be fucking rad. It would be. I don't know how that would work with Tom Holland's contract, because he's technically under contract with Sony. Make a new fucking contract. But. Because I, that I actually want to see. It'd be really funny if they lose the rights to Spider-Man and they just start putting him in Disney Plus shows. Tom Holland Spider-Man. Fucking A. It's like, yeah, we still have the rights to Spider-Man. Fuck it, why not? Motherfucker. <laughs> That's probably what they're gonna do. I don't think they're gonna lose the rights anytime soon, especially putting Venom in the MCU. I don't uh I don't know. I, I have a feeling that Sony's gonna try to kind of have control over Spider-Man again. Maybe, but they saw the backlash that happened last time. I don't know. They did, but I don't think they give a shit anymore. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how dumb Sony is. Um, watch, watch them do that, and then Apple buys them out. They the had now day. that Venom. <laughs> now that Venom is like its own franchise on its own, and it's successful. I really don't think. Is it successful though? I feel like people went to watch yeah, both those both movies. Both movies see... made money. The first yeah, one, but I feel like people made a billion dollars. People watched it to see if it was in the MCU, not to see Venom. But but now more money. Maybe I don't. I don't know. It's weird to me. Regardless of whether it's in the MCU or not, if they if they put Tom Holland in a Venom movie. In fucking Spider Man suit and have them fight. That movie's gonna make enough. Whether or not it's in the MCU. I guess. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. People will be outraged if they take them from the MCU again. So they may boycott. They will, them. but again, Sony doesn't care. Sony doesn't give a fuck. They may boy they may boycott it. You never know. Uh and then the Maybe. last uh, animated thing, which is the most interesting thing that I thought that we're getting that's animated we're getting the uh, x-men 97 return how do you feel about this this sounds fucking cool is this a sequel to the show it's a continuation of the show not a sequel Fuck it. hey hell yeah I'll the same that. creator is coming back i think some of the voice actors are coming back so um fucking a, man I, that's i know rad. they can done that in the same style too which is awesome yeah I know they confirmed that they switched the Jubilee actress to be an actual Asian woman or something. Because apparently that was a big deal. I don't. I don't know. What is okay? So is who who plays Wolverine? I don't know. I don't know. Is he Canadian? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. If he's not Canadian, fuck him. Replace him. <laughs> they might be bringing back the same guy who plays Wolverine in the show. I don't know if he's coming back or not. I know they're bringing back some people. Well, if he's not Canadian, then fuck him. <laughs> is, is that your is that your take on switching? Wait, if we're actor? replacing, if we're replacing a, a a white lady for an Asian lady who's playing it, she, she wasn't that thing that she's playing. That guy's not fucking Canadian. <laughs> he's it's not a short fair. Hairy it's man. only fair to do that to everyone. That is true. That is true. They better bring back that theme song, by the way, or I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> They they get copyrighted for that. I, I played the first that like two second. notes. That one second thing in this two hour video. Yeah, you're gonna get they, copyright they, strike for fucking not. Imagine, imagine you played it so well, you got copyrighted strike. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, this seems interesting. I'm I'm uh, curious. This sounds awesome. I'm gonna watch the fuck out of this. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyways, moving on, we got 
confirmation of this that was also already confirmed, so I'm not going to talk about it that much. We got Loki Season 2. They confirmed it, reconfirmed it. They showed that at the end of Season 1. They're like, oh, mm-hmm. we're getting to Season 2. Or whatever. So, whatever. Is, isn't it funny how, how shows could just have a Season 2 now, regardless of how well it does? They could just, hey, we're doing Season 2. Like, that's interesting. Well, Loki was considered good by most people. Maybe not you, because you. Don't no, I know. It. I know Loki. I know the reception was was really well done. But they knew when they made Loki that they were going to do a season two before anybody oh, had yeah. even seen it. That's true. That's true. It's just weird. That same thing with that's same thing, thing with now. What If, but people liked What If. Well, yeah. Least, so, but the big green light season two of What If but... way before the show came out. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like I'm out. I'm still sitting here like you can make a good What If season. And they, I don't think they will. You could make it amazing. Could. What if should be the best thing in the MCU right now? It should be the easiest thing. You just get a bunch of people like throw throw me ideas. We'll see. Give me, give me ideas. Give me the weirdest shit. Take some acid. Tell me what you dream about. <laughs> like, and we'll put it in a thing. But I don't want more of what if this character was this character? What if this character didn't become this character? Uh, I'm like that's not interesting. That's why Marvel we're, Zombies we're was the most interesting episode because it was like completely different from anything we'd seen in the MCU. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. And don't put Ultron in it because apparently you can't do Ultron correctly. <laughs> no matter what version you put him in. I don't know. Anyways. They probably will at some point. Um. I would, I'm still holding that hope. You can do a live action Ultron and make him good. I don't think they will, but you, could. you can't. It's not hard. Just make him a robot. Don't give him emotions. A scary. You got the, you got the right robot. actor, James Spader's voice, fucking terrifying. You got a, a cool look. Just don't make him quippy and weird. Don't give him lips. Don't give, give him fucking him... Optimus Prime lips. No, just get. He's got an open mouth in the comics and yeah. in the cartoon show. Just That's give him all that. you gotta do. Just fix his fucking face and make him. Don't make him. Yeah, don't give him quips. Just make him an emotionless robot. Don't give him quips. Kind of like yeah. Terminator, honestly. Just kind of make him Terminator without looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Fuck it. Get Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> anyway, well, he's supposed to sound intelligent. I'm not saying that Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't sound intelligent, but like. He kind of doesn't. I'm going to crash a rock into the earth. <laughs> ah. like, like if Ultron sounded like that, I'd be like, he, does he does he know how to do that? I, I, would, like, I would not take him seriously if he sounded like that. <laughs> there are no strings on me. Put the cookie down. Put that cookie down, Stark. Now. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, uh, we got a new logo for Secret Invasion, mm. and they released an image of Nick Fury. Did you see that? Yeah, he's got like a big old man beard. He's got a big old old man beard. It looks pretty dope. What the hell happened to him? It looks like he's aged like 30 years in a he's five years' time. Space. Does that make you age? I mean, I guess it happened. We, to have, we haven't seen him post in game, really. I mean, no, he was in really Far From know. Home. The very end of it. And he looked fine. He looked normal. <laughs> Maybe this is a time jump. Maybe? How much of a time jump is there between in game and this? Or far from home? Four this years. Time? I don't fucking know. Maybe, Maybe he's just, th- just letting it all grow out. He doesn't have hair dyed. He doesn't have a barber because he's out on a scroll planet. He aged 10 years in the span of four years. Okay. That Everyone makes sense. did it. He's lived in the desert. He's up I give space. him some slack. Apparently space makes you age. Even though in real life, s- space makes you age less. I, whatever. <laughs> MCU science doesn't make any fucking sense. Doesn't make any fucking sense. Anyways, um, we got some... Oh, yeah, your favorite. Uh, we got con- confirmation that we're getting an Agatha Harkless... Or sorry, it's called Agatha House of Harkless show. That's what it's called. Cool. And I'm still, I'm still sitting here wondering, the fuck um, is this? Why? That's what I'm wondering. Why? I know why because a... she was she was popular from Wandavision, and so they just want to milk that character some more. I don't need a, a series about her. 
I got I knew exactly what happened, her whole story in WandaVision. I don't need Yeah, more they literally it. they literally told it. Yeah. I don't know. Like, like, what's what the point? We're gonna show Agatha in medieval times just wrecking shit. Like that's whatever. I don't care about that. That, that might be what they're what they're gonna do, but I don't really give a shit. I don't think they are. I think they're gonna do modern times and how she found Wanda. I think that's what they're gonna do. Oh really? I, I don't know. I, I literally don't know anything about this show. I have no idea what it's about. That's, but that's dumb. Don't if I had to guess, that. I would do that. I would guess they'd do that. Because that's the least interesting route to take. And that's what it seems like they're going to do. That, don't do that. That's dumb. <laughs> um, we got a little bit of footage uh, for Miss Marvel. I don't know if you saw any of this. Um, footage. What? Sorry, you cut out there again. I saw some images of it. I didn't see the footage. Uh, it was kind of in just like the sizzle reel. It wasn't like a trailer or anything. Uh, it looks like Miss Marvel. She also got confirmed she doesn't have stretchy powers in this. The fuck does she have? She has like crystal powers. Like she makes crystals form around her like fists and stuff. No stretchy powers. Okay, so then it's not it's not a Miss Marvel show then because it's not the character. It's it's still that is the character. It's just they switched her power set. I'm guessing, I'd guess that's because they dumb. want to do fan, Fantastic Four and they don't want two stretchy people. I'm guessing. What? But why? I don't know. Just I'm guessing. But they they have confirmed that that's not her power. She doesn't stretch. You had two Iron Mans running around. What the fuck? Yeah, but Brody's cool. Okay. I think, I think they're thinking Miss Marvel Mr. is cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she is. I think they are going to go the inhuman route, though. I think they're going to mention that she is an inhuman. So that's going to be interesting. Though. They're not going to connect it to the inhuman show. At least I hope no, they don't. No, not at all. That movie or that show was a disaster. I love how they, they hyped up that show and they were like, oh, hey, we're doing a, an inhuman show and it's part of the MCU. And then it sucked. And they're like, nope. They did an IMAX it. release for the like first two episodes or something. Yeah. And people were like, yeah, let's go we'll go camp out. And people were like, that was really bad. Like, I don't, I don't, know, I don't want to watch the rest of the show. It was that bad. Yeah. And uh, Kevin, I don't know if you heard this. This I didn't have this on my news, but since we're talking about it, Kevin Feige uh, denied letting them shoot in Hawaii for Eternals because of Inhumans. Why? I don't know. I guess he just didn't want to like be associated with Hawaii. I don't. I don't know. But he 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 vetoed it. Kevin's such a fucking weirdo. He's like Inhumans was so bad. I'm not even gonna film there again. It's not gonna happen. That doesn't make any fucking sense. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we got our I Am Group series and our Guardians holiday special series mm -hmm. confirmed. Um, I don't know what this I Am Group show is going to be about. I feel like it's going to be like the Star Wars holiday special where he's just saying I Am Group and nobody um, understands um, what he's saying. I, I heard it's like a series of like animated shorts. But like, is he just going to say I Am Group the whole time with no Probably subtitles? Is. And Probably, people. Yeah. Are, that's stupid. It, it might be subtitles. No, don't make it like the Star Wars holiday special where nobody understands what goddamn that'd be great. what he's saying. That'd be, that'd be really funny. Would it though? Because it, it'd just be the modern day. I am brute. Well, yeah, but it'd be more tolerable because these would be shorts. But there'd be multiple of them. You just watch one, and if you're annoyed by it, don't watch the rest of them. I guess. I don't care enough about baby group because I think they're doing oh, yeah, baby group. I don't, I don't give a shit. If it was maybe adult group, I'd be like, all right, let's, let's check it if out. If it was like, I would be interested if it was in like sassy teen group. So you like you like sassy teen group because he probably curses a lot. I'm guessing that's why you like him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the last two series that uh, we they were rumored for a long time, and they, I guess they're officially confirmed because they released it. Uh, Ironheart. It was just a kid version of Iron Man. Um, we're getting that series. Well, and she's black and a lady. Yes, yes, that too. Um, and we're still we're still getting Armor Wars also, so we're gonna have two Iron Man shows going on at the same time. Okay. So I don't know if they. I'm sure, I'm sure so. she's she's gonna show up. Fuck, they're gonna make Riri Williams, uh, Rhodey's daughter. I'm calling it right now. 
No. I'm calling it right now. She, he's a black man with with Iron Man tech. Where do you think she's going to get the Iron Man tech from? From Rhodey, her dad. Doesn't she make it herself in the comics? Isn't that what happens? Probably, but fuck you. This, is, this ain't the comics. I'm calling it right now. No. They're going to make... Re- Bro, it's been dead. a while since Wade's made a, a call on it moment. It's been a while, so we'll see. We'll calling see. it. Watch call tomorrow; it? they'll confirm. I'm calling it. It'll be rumored tomorrow because somebody, somebody in Marvel, will listen to our podcast because they release shit they right do. after we record our fucking. I, I can't wait! I can't wait to hear the the headline tomorrow. <laughs> it's been rumored. Uh, Rhodey is the 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 father of Riri Williams. Like what the fuck? Why the hell not? She could also be Nick Fury's daughter. How about Falcon? No, no Falcon. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe it'd be a little weird if Falcon all of a sudden has a daughter that he just didn't mention in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like, yeah, I guess it'd be a little odd. Like Rhodey, we don't know anything about Rhodey's personal life, so like it would make sense if maybe he has a daughter. We know he worked for the military, and that's it. That's about it. <laughs> and then the last show that we got confirmed is the Echo Show, which also, yeah. if you remember, is the show that will have the Daredevil cast in it. So, yeah. So, make you excited for the show at all? Uh, no, because I don't know who the hell Echo is, and I don't know what the plot of the show is. Uh, she's kind of like. The right hand man to Nick Fury, who has powers and stuff like that. What what, what are her powers? I think she's kind of like Black Bolt, where she can like speak really loud and stuff like that. Oh shit! Okay, I could be wrong on that though. Don't quote me on that. But I think that's what her powers. I will quote you on that. Don't quote me on that. But uh, that is all my. I don't know. I know she's gonna she's gonna show up in Hawkeye, isn't she? I think she might be an in credit thing. She said they said that she may have a cameo in it. Oh, okay. Seems like they're throwing a lot of just random cameos in Hawkeye because I think um, yes, yeah, the chick from Black Widow is going to be in it too, Yelena. Yeah, uh, Yelena or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It seems like they're just doing they're doing way too much. <laughs> well, it's like I can't keep up with everything. I, I can't keep up with everything they're doing. It's not even that. It's just like normally when a TV show has a spinoff, it's because they introduce a character in in a show and then people really like that character and then they, they give them a spinoff. They don't go, hey, we're making a Hawkeye show and we're putting this character in it and she's also getting like a spinoff and a movie and like whatever. It's like we haven't even seen this character. <laughs> That's what they did with Agatha Harkless, but you don't like that. I mean, I don't like it either, but that's fine but like i just think that's a dumb idea for a show you're right it is a dumb idea i don't think agatha needs a show if echo is a cool character give her a show she might be cool in hawkeye if she's in it she might be but again we don't know (laughs) Uh, any other marvel news that i didn't mention that you got nope dang we hit it we hit it right on the coffin we did the nail on the coffin Wait, what's the fun fact of the day? Let's the wrap it up. Uh, I don't fucking know. It's your oh, fun shit. fact of the day. All right. You got the fun fact of the day on there too. Mm-hmm. Damn, I didn't. I didn't come prepared with a fun fact. You fucker, it's your segment, and you never come prepared. And I, I threw it onto you this week. I said, Wade, what's the fun fact of the day? But the fucking title card says Devin's fun fact. I can't I do Devin's fun fact. I didn't run that title card. I didn't approve of this. I didn't sign off on it. I'm not to be held accountable for Devin's fun fact. But that's what it's called. <laughs> there's there could be there's multiple Devins. We can just be out and about. There's and one Devin on this show. On this show, but I'm, there's other ones. The fuck the else would this be referring to? Any Devin? Uh, yeah, any Devin. Any Devin in the world? Isn't the guy from Nezzy Classified? He's his name's Devin, isn't it? It's about him. Devin Devin Work. I- is there, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Go call him up and ask him for a fun fact of the day. 
Yeah, like I could fucking get his phone number. I'm sure you could. He's not that big of an actor. I could if I tried. I was gonna say, I'm up sure on you YouTube just... and be like, "Yo, give me your phone number, bro. I want. I need to call you about something important. <laughs> I need to call you. I need. To, I, I have some dire information. And you call him and he goes, "What?" And he goes, "What's the fun fact of the day?" <laughs> like what? You heard what? me, Devin. What's the fun fact of the day? You heard me, Ned. Like no one's ever. When are we gonna get a Ned's declassified reboot? I don't, know, I don't know. They did. They kind of did one with Drake and Josh. They did a movie. It's not really a reboot. But they did a movie. Really. They were gonna. They they were kind of in the works of doing a Drake and Josh reboot up until uh, Drake got like arrested or whatever for being a yeah, pedophile or whatever. That. Which that sucks. No, he, I I would a... love. <laughs> what did he do? He did something with a little girl, right? He did child neglect. That's what he did. He left it like a baby in a car or something. Oh, who gave Drake Bell a baby? I don't know. I think it was like his sister's baby or something. He left Fuck, it in the car. Don't give him a baby. Didn't you see the episode of Drake and Josh where they have to take care of a baby? He clearly proved it, he was incompetent. It wasn't even like a baby baby. It was like a toddler. Either way. But yeah, they, they charged him with child neglect because they left him in a hot car or something. Good, you fucking asshole. <laughs> He's not a pedophile. I thought I I knew it had something to do with like a little kid, and I thought it was just a pedophile because that's. No, I mean, I if he is, that hasn't come out yet, but he could be a pedophile. That, I mean, being be. a pedophile is also child neglect in a way. It could it's, be. It's kind of the opposite. It's kind of too much affection. <laughs> why? Why am I going to jail? Because you were way too fucking affectionate with that. <laughs> So what are you talking about? It's like you you raped it, all right? You raped that child. Oh my god! Oh my god! I try to put it nicely anymore. So I try to put it nicely, but you didn't understand. So that that word isn't okay anymore. Is it not? How is that not? That's that word not okay. You can't say rape anymore. I thought that was the other R word. Retard. You can't say re- you haven't been able to say retard in like ten years. Yeah, so I thought I thought that was the only R word you're not allowed to use. No, you can't say rape now because people have been raped. And when they hear the word rape, they get triggered. I don't believe those people have been raped if they get triggered. Most by most people who come out and like boast to the world that they've been raped haven't been raped. Because I hate to burst everyone's bubble. Rape victims don't like talking about the fact that they got raped. Yeah, usually they're scarred for life. Because it's a traumatic event. It's not. They're <laughs> not going to come out, hey, everyone, I was raped. No, you weren't. You were you were not raped. All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fun fact of the day is. So that that's the fun fact of the day. Fun fact of the day. Yeah. Most rape victims who shout their shit are liars. There you go. We don't have any proof to back it up, but that's just Wade's fun fact of the day. All right. I mean. I, do I need proof to prove that they're liars? I mean, uh, no. If I, dude, if I got raped, like by anybody, do you think the first thing I would do is like make a public service announcement about it? Would you tell I'd me? Keep that shit to myself. No. Like, if you went to prison and you got butt raped, you wouldn't tell me. Well, if I went to prison, I feel like that would be like implied. <laughs> So if I see, if I hear one day that you went to prison, I'd be like, oh, he's getting butt raped, like right now, as we speak. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can't defend myself in prison. If you drop the soap, are you leaving it on the ground? If I drop the soap, I'm just going to be a dirty motherfucker because I'm not picking that shit up. <laughs> what if you do that weird thing with like your toes and you pick it up with your foot? I'm not, you don't... I'm not trying it. <laughs> you don't have to bend over. Kick it to the wall. And then like... And then... Flip and fall on the water. Kick it to the oh, wall. No, I'm on the ground. <laughs> like, look, I'm just not bathing today. Tomorrow, if they put the soap back on the thing, I'll bathe. No, I'm not bathing. I ain't, I ain't fucking bathing today at all. I ain't getting butt raped. <laughs> I don't think you have a choice on if you want to get raped or not. Wait, <laughs> I think it just happens. I'm not gonna give them an advantage. <laughs> if I'm in the position. That's partially my doing, all right? 
I'm you gotta not be like the, have that. You gotta be like in Deadpool too. Like you gotta walk in and beat up the biggest guy you see as soon as you get in there. I mean, yeah, but like th- these are prison niggas, all right? Like these are some. What if you go to like some some weenie hut junior prison? That's not prison. It's still prison, but it's like no. If I'm the biggest motherfucker in that prison, this ain't a real prison, all right? Like you go to prison like New Hampshire. For some guy that's not a real prison, all right. New Hampshire's got a bunch of pussy fucks. Well, it's like if you go to a prison in Michigan, like like, like a Detroit prison, like yeah. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't know why you're going to prison in Detroit, but like because I went to Detroit and I killed a baby, and they, so they're sending me back to Detroit. Whoa, it why wasn't on purpose, it was an accident. How do you accidentally kill a baby? I pulled a Matthew Broderick, and I was driving too fast, and I killed someone in a car accident. You don't drive fast. I wouldn't believe that if that came on the news. I in Detroit, I was. You were you were the slowest driver that I know. I am pretty slow. You could still could you still kill someone from driving really slow in a car? Are you, you running? I guess over? I guess if you just like roll over them, yeah, like just really slow. I guess. That's what I, I was going to say. I, just, I saw a, a toddler on the ground and I just slowly shouldn't have been in the street. He blended in. I couldn't see him. Shouldn't have been in the street. Well, that's racist. How's that racist? Detroit black baby, black top. That's fucking racist. That we is. never said anything about a black baby. You said it it's Detroit. Is of course he's a, <laughs> he's gonna be black. All right. But me saying that Will Smith wouldn't couldn't see him in the dark. That's not racist. No, because that's a fact. You turn the lights off, you can't see anyone in the dark. <laughs> Fun fact of the day. When you turn the lights off, you can't there see you anybody Fuck it in the dark. Cut it there. Boom. Boom.